Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. <laughs> If you didn't know, now you know this is your host once again, J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson. Uh, yeah, man, we're, we're pushing along, pushing along. We got so much to get to today, so see why what's going down, girl. What's up, guys? Back uh, again. How are you? Yeah, back again. Like we never left, Tag man. Team. <laughs> like we never left. What's going on, man? How's everything? How was your past weekend before you get into that F1 report? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm having amnesia. What did I even do? Oh, I rescued a dog. Nice. That's typical, right? You I, rescue dogs like every other day. Very on brand for me. I rescued a dog, so mm -hmm. that's been fun. Um, you know, and I uh, had a lot of photo booth things going on, but whew, busy weekend for sports. May I, may I shout out some numbers? They might sound familiar. Does the number 293 ring a bell? Uh, 293, that's the Cedar Hill uh, prefix uh, for the phone numbers, <laughs> but other than that, no, not really. <laughs> so, so oh. specific. Hey, hey, uh, hey it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a place in Oak Cliff called 292. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Close. Yeah, close. Okay. Um, well, tell me about it. The number, it's also the number of points that I scored. This week was fan hey. my fantasy team. Oh, yeah, I think you were the high score this week, right? Sure was. Let me share another hey. number from another league that I'm a part of. Yeah. Uh, does the number 89 ring a bell? That was this amount of points that I scored with my other team. So <laughs> I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about that. Hey. I don't think I've ever scored less points. My opponent had players not even playing. They were out on injury, <laughs> and still I lost. So I'm 0-2 on one league and 1-1 yep. uh, one one on the new niche fantasy team. Hey, see um, why? I got to tell you this joke, man. See why I just said, <laughs> rescue me. I'm better than a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got some fans out there, girl. Hey, oh, hey. my God, guys. You know, I'm just hey, saying. Got gotcha you blushing. Got gotcha you blushing. I'm just saying the first lady of one. Yeah. Got it going oh, yeah. on. <laughs> Doing your thing out there, yes. girl. Who is, who is that? Is that my suitor from last time who said I look <laughs> gassy, <laughs> which I've learned hey. is a good thing. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, no, that, oh, yeah. that wasn't that wasn't the gassy man. That wasn't the gassy oh. man. That's that's trip the ghost. That's the the number oh, one yeah. fan yeah. over here. He he took Ian's spot, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying. I'm just, oh yeah, he knocked Ian I'm out the I'm just saying, box. Ian, out the, Ian out the, ain't even in the conversation no more, dog. <laughs> Goo Punch and Trip, they, they what that is, but Trip is kind of in a league of his own right now at this point, you know? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Love Trip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank so, you, Trip. So, uh, who'd, you, who'd you play this weekend, CY? Who'd you beat in fantasy football? Uh, you know, I never thought I'd say I'd beat an NFL, prior NFL player in anything, but I did beat Mark Clayton because he doesn't know how to update his roster. So, <laughs> hey, you didn't even got to tell uh, nobody that, you know? It was an easy win, um, but you know what? But still, he had he put up some good, he put up some points despite not adjusting his, his team and his lineup for the week. However, um, I will just, I'll just focus on my numbers. 293 that's all i'm gonna say hey i think i was it right was behind you with like 277 or something like that 278 yeah yeah you were close you were close by it felt, um, felt, felt like you know felt like old times again it did it felt like 2023 again which were my shining years uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. hey you got a lot to look forward to i think you're gonna have an excellent season this year in fantasy football but uh with that being said what took place this weekend? You know, I think you you kind of called this one a little bit too. Max didn't quite get in that on that podium like you thought he would. But he those uh, papaya boys are still showing out, right? One of them. Well, yeah. actually, no. What? Let me take this back. Okay, let's rewind a bit. So, yes, my predictions were that we would see McLaren with a double podium. You know, and we we were close to it, but they started off the weekend in kind of a weird fashion. Um, so we were in Azerbaijan. They call the track Baku. Uh, we were in Baku for this race. Now, Lando had a very rough qualifying. Um, and as you guys know, they use qualifying to determine what the starting grid looks like on the race day, which is on Sunday. So Saturday, Lando, who has been in pole position um, throughout the season or close, like in the top two, he ends up in, I think, 15th or 17th on the grid for the start of the race just due to his lack of performance in qualifying. 
And um, so he's not starting off in the front, and um, but but Oscar is. He's up. He's up uh, in the top five. Leclerc actually was on pole position. He's been in pole position multiple times at this track. So, but we've talked about this, guys. Remember when we see Leclerc in pole position? It doesn't ever always work out for him. <laughs> it no, almost like never does. If I'm being yeah, honest, it yeah. literally never does. Um, on a handful of times, it's worked out for him. For, but for the most part, if I see Lando on pole or I see Leclerc on pole, I kind of feel like they're super over eager. They've got a lot of motivation to win, which causes them to make mistakes. And, uh, you know, yet again, here we are, Leclerc on pole. But Oscar Piastri, one of the Papaya boys, ha one half of the Papaya boys, makes it on to the podium and wins the race. He beats out Leclerc um, after a first couple of laps, takes over. And, uh, yeah, he showed up. He's a young guy. He's an Australian guy. Uh, he's won one race before. That was kind of a controversial win for him. So he's on his second race win this season. Um, and I think it's just showing how dominant McLaren is. Our friends over at Williams, uh, they had the American driver that they bumped because he wasn't doing very well. And unfortunately, they did not replace him with the black driver that we wanted, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, they took Franco Colapinto. This was his first race. And um, Williams actually had their best race since 2021. They got finished. Oh, wow. They finished with some points. And so we miss Logan Sargent, but Franco Colapinto, he showed up and um, really put on a, a strong display. So Williams has their uh, best qualifying and best uh, race appearance in many seasons. Very exciting for them. Now, the drama here is that, well, I don't, I don't want to call it drama. I think the excitement here is that McLaren, for the first time in many seasons, has surpassed Red Bull in the points for the Constructors' Championship. Uh, it has been quite a bit of time since, uh, since McLaren won a championship, but Red Bull, for the last several seasons, has really dominated on the Constructors' side. No one's even gotten close. But, so for McLaren to surpass them after this race and a DNF for Perez, uh, you know, it was a lower finish for Lando than we were expecting, um, but a great one for Oscar. Very exciting for them. Um, and it also just means the driver's title is just absolutely not locked in. There's a lot of ways this could go, but I don't know. Lando's creeping up on uh, on Max. So we'll see how this next upcoming race, I will provide a Singapore recap when I come back next week um, and give you guys a break. I will catch up with you guys next week. Yeah, so see why, you know, she, she said she's just gonna give us a recap next week for Singapore. First lady F1's off the chain. I really enjoy her her updates weekly, you know? Oh, yeah, cause uh, she be giving me a lot of information. Plus a lot of things that I'm abreast on, but F1, you know, I mean, I, I keep I, I catch the highlights. Yeah, you know, yeah. I said like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But let's get into these topics for the week, man. You know, like I said, it's so much to get into. First up, did he do it? It ain't even funny at this point, man. Like, it was just a matter of time, like we talked about, huh? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we brought this up and, you know, anytime we bring up a story, we're not like the rest of the media, you know, you know, mo most of the time media bashes somebody and then when they um, are acquitted or they are found not get it, guilty or whatever it is, the, the media doesn't come back and tell you that part. Yeah, absolutely. They just let the bad, bad juju flow yeah. in the air. And we don't do that around here, you know, but uh, this isn't necessarily that situation right now. Uh, Diddy's still in a lot of trouble right now, and uh, we all knew it was a matter of time, man. When those feds start uh, raiding coming around, home. raiding your uh -huh. house, snooping around like mm -hmm. no pun intended, but when they start doing that kind of stuff, man, like it's usually not a good thing for anybody, you know, or anybody associated with those the people involved. So, uh, you know, they saying people in Hollywood, there's a lot of people in Hollywood in the music game that are scared right now. Oh, yeah, because a lot of them doing the same thing. Hey, Diddy knows That's a lot. Right. He has Double a lot of information. Me, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I believe. I believe he's not the only one doing that. And I'm gonna say that Diddy didn't, didn't make that up. Yeah. He didn't make that up. He oh yeah. That. He was taught that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was taught that. Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's people saying, you know, uh the reason why Epstein disappeared the way he did and the cameras malfunction just so happened to cameras just so happened to malfunction when he passed away is because he knew too much. No, yeah, absolutely. Right? And um Diddy's not in a good situation right now, man. And it, it absolutely sucks. Yeah. Um, I hate to see it. Uh, he's been, um, you know. What well, I'm uh, saying like this, if he didn't do it, I hate to see it. Yeah. If he did it, I'm glad to see it. Yeah, I mean, you know. If you did it, 
You know, you did. You, I mean, got, a, you know. got to pay the piper, yeah. dog. You yeah, know? That's all I'm there, saying. There's consequences you know, I, for every action. You know, you know I, and, and I hate that he took advantage of people like he did, yeah. if he did it. But, you know, like I said, like the... Uh, they say this in the court, you have something proven guilty. Absolutely. So, you know, all this stuff. Not, not in the not stupid. in the court of public opinion. Oh, oh no. public opinion. You, you guilty know. to proven innocent. Absolutely. You know. And I mean, so, yeah. he people been, you know, saying did he, I mean it's hard not to say he's guilty when, you know, he's got uh the 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 various uh, the video situations tapes, going. Yeah, the, the video tapes, tapes coming and, out, like Yeah, all that stuff, man. That's not you know yeah. you don't gotta question that stuff. Like no. that's real. I mean, what you think about that whole situation, huh? Because I get tightened up over here on my side. Absolutely. Uh, well, yeah, we get, I'm gonna just I'm putting it in my ear. Real oh, quick. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, well, you know, I try not to even uh, get into all that stuff, man. You know, because that's uh, that's a lot of it. You know, that because of things that they do, I don't approve of it anyway. I mean, you know, all that, uh, you know, having two and three. And having a whole bunch of children by different women and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, and all that. You may have enough money to take care of the kids, but it's still a disadvantage to the child. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're not there every day. Yeah. So all the stuff they do is kind of shaky to me. And I don't even, uh, oh, oh, yeah, I don't even want to expound on it too much. Yeah, yeah, too, no doubt, not man. Too much, you know. I just, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I feel bad for all the victims. Right? Anybody that experienced that, I know the, uh, the the case, you know, what's in writing is very uh, defaming, right? Like, oh, uh, you know, yeah. um, saying that he used, he, he was basically a, a mob boss at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. You and know? Then, you know that's uh, just, kidnapping and Yeah, and then it's like this, and, though. If you, <laughs> if they tell you uh, down that alley, you know, they knocking people in the head and you go down there and you get knocked in the head, boy, that's your fault too. Yeah. You know, so I mean, yeah. you know, that's why I don't like to discuss all that stuff because Yeah, no because, doubt. Because me personally, a whole lot of it, every problem I have had in my life, I have had some contributing effort toward that problem. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. And, and you know, and, and just in life in general, you know, there is no exact science other than math is yeah. the only truth, right? Yeah. And uh, there is one thing that's called common denominator, <laughs> and if trouble seems to always find you and be around you, yeah. and even though you might not be the one getting in trouble, but people are constantly dying that are associated oh, yeah. to you, and yeah. stories keep coming yeah. out about these different parties, and just you know, it's there's no telling who's on tape. Yeah. They got the tapes, you know. And when, when was that? Back in like February, March, when they started this whole raid situation. Yeah, something like that. Something like that, man. So six months later, you know, R. Kelly went through the similar situation. Bill Cosby went through a similar situation. You know, as soon as they start digging, they're not digging oh, they for go, nothing. Oh, they're gonna find something. They're not digging for nothing. So, I mean, it was pretty evident something was going down, man. <laughs> What did our trip say? Trip, trip said just said something. <laughs> oh, he said he just got to drop that camera tape off and he'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a pimping case, man. It's, yeah. It, it's weird. Yeah, it is some weirdo stuff going on. Goo Punch, I agree, bro. Appreciate y'all holding it down, man. You know? Hey, make sure y'all tell some friends about us, man. So they, we yeah. can have a big old, a big old party, you know? Not, nothing like Diddy's parties, though, but... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep it rolling right now, man. So last week, last Wednesday, uh, it was a pretty uh, wild situation that took place. I call it IG Gate, right? And we, you know, we do a show once a week, so we just now able to talk about this a week later. Uh, Shay Shay, fake unk. I'm mean, unk. My bad. No disrespect. I've been a fan of the dude since he played with the Broncos and the Ravens. Like, the dude was cold-blooded on the football field. And I watch him every day in some way, shape, or form, whether it's on ESPN, Nightcap, Club Shay Shay, whatever it is. But uh, last Wednesday, that was a, a pretty bogus occurrence. And, uh, you know, this professional gentleman, uh, debonair gentleman, uh, found himself in a very peculiar situation where... Uh, you know, he left his cell phone on the nightstand, looks like. Maybe in the hotel room, just based off the wood grain. 
But uh, and and there was a lot of audio being played. At the end of the day, Shay Shay was mashing on the gas, you know, getting jiggy with it, you know, fun dipping, you know, doing what grown folk do, right? right? But there, there was, was no video. video. There, there was, was only audio. audio. Okay. okay. First off, I want to ask you this question. Now, do you believe that this was an accident? It's hard to, uh, it ain't like a butt dialer. Like you could put your phone in your pocket and hit your name. Yeah. But that ain't how IG work. It's more than uh -uh. one button. Uh -uh. You got to go to two big different screens. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and first off, I really don't give a damn what Shannon did. I don't either. You know, and I don't want to hear it. And I'm going to tell you this. This is just my opinion. All you people sitting up listening to it, it's something wrong with y'all. Something gross. Something wrong yeah. with every man, grown man, sitting up listening to another, another grown man. man. Smash something wrong game. with you. And every time I, I'm, I'm on my phone on YouTube and somebody say, oh, this the audio, I flip because I don't want to hear one sound. Yeah. Because if I want to hear some audio from that, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to be creating the audio. I, yeah, I'm I am the audio. I'm going to myself up and put my headphones in. Yeah, and, you know, I you am know. the audio. Yeah. So I don't, you know, Shannon and all that. And this is the whole thing about publicity, man. It's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> we don't know if good publicity or bad publicity make you more popular. Yep. I'm going to say it like that. Facts. Facts. These so, days. Pub that's a, a whole lot of people think any publicity is good publicity. As long as they're talking about you, as long yeah. as you can stay relevant some way, shape, or form. Yeah, so I mean, you know, you know so all that sounding, man, I yeah. really, that's something else I don't, I don't, I don't even want to speak on that even less than I did, did it. Yeah. Because sounding grown man, if you want to put his business out there like that, you go right ahead and put your business out there. But I don't want to hear it. And that's on you, that's baby. On, yeah, that's on you, baby. Yeah, and man. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, no, nah, that's that was a whole little wild situation, man. Yeah, it was like, bro, like, that's just I don't know. I call it IG gate because it's just too fishy. It's just way too much to do. Yeah, uh, like I said, it ain't like I think it was planned. Like I that, think man. it was staged. Absolutely, you I know, think he whatever. was trying to let the people know he ain't, you know, um, living an alternative lifestyle. And then this the whole thing. If he is, who gives a damn? Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, who got I me? Mean, I don't Shannon, either. But obviously, Shannon he, can do whatever he want to do because this is what I I, I like, Shannon. For his uh, athletic ability on the football field, yep, and uh, and his uh, old country slangs, and he ain't trying to be, you know, whatever. He still shouting out. Yeah, that's what I like it for. His sexuality has nothing to do with me. Yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm a grown ass man. Yeah, and I don't care about no other grown man. Yep. sexuality. So I don't care what Shannon doing his time, and I don't care if he taping, audio, video. The, if whatever you do, I don't want the, no parts of none of it. <laughs> Just me personally. I'm hey. not going to listen to Shannon. Yeah. I'm not going to look at Shannon. Yeah. If, you know, if, if, if Shannon and Ocho is on there telling jokes and Shannon talking about what his granddaddy told him, all that's cool, but all that other stuff. Ain't got I nothing get, to do yeah, with you. No, yeah, I'm with you on yeah, that. 100%. Man, stop, that. Huh? stop that, man. 100,000%. Yeah. Matter of fact. you got it. But I've seen some guys that I like. They talking about, here's a video. There's a guy on there on Instagram all the time. Like, I mean, bro. on uh, YouTube. I listen to him, too, you know, the little shorts. But then when he started that, I flipped off him. Yeah, and I, man. And I won't be looking at him no more because yeah. I look at him different now. Yeah. You up there listening to Shadow. Yeah. What you doing yourself? <laughs> I look at him different. No, for real. I really do. Any man Straight that up. sit up there and listen to the whole audio, I don't know how long it was, but yeah. something wrong with you. Straight and up. if you don't believe me, Come on, come over here in DeSoto, Texas. Yeah. And I'll tell you to your face. Yeah. My homie sent it to me and I was like, what is it? What, what am I? What is this right here? You yeah, know what, what I'm, I'm going to do with this? And after I heard the first few seconds, I knew what it was and I didn't have to go back. I was like, yeah. bro, like, what's going on right here? So it ain't hey. no point in me uh, hey. See, revisiting you, that. Said, I'm going to tell you like, like this. For what? He better be glad he ain't my homie because he might not be my homie no more. Yeah. He's sending me some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I had to call and say, man, what's up with you? Yeah. But you yeah. sending me another grown man. Yeah. And, and if you want to stay my homie, don't never do no shit like that no more. Yeah, straight Come up. Come on, man. For real. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. See, nah, I, I, I feel you. I yeah, feel you on I'm that. Not, I'm not sending me another grown man business. Yeah, man. On, now man. that's that's a bit wild. That's I mean, a bit wild. Me. But I, but like I say all the time on here, people, <laughs> Unc is old school. He country. Whatever you want to say. But that ain't my that ain't my that ain't my lane right there. Yeah, at worry all. About, worry about another grown man. It's all. <laughs> At all, straight up. <laughs> Not at all. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. So, we'll keep this train rolling. Oh, yeah. Big weekend NFL football action. So, let me get this Shay Shay down. 
Starting with them Dallas Cowboys, man. That game Sunday, I'm glad I was in church for the first quarter. Because uh, I might have had a heart attack watching, watching that mess, man. Like, I get home. First of all, all right, I leave church. It's 7-3. Right? Wasn't, wasn't it 7-3 seven, or 7-0? By the time you get home, it's 21-3. It was 21. I was like, what happened? <laughs> uh, I live four minutes from the house. <laughs> like, I'm dead serious. It's like, man, what is your going church, down? <laughs> now, your church right around the corner from your house. Right you, around the corner, well, man. You get out the parking lot. <laughs> By the time I got to the crib, that game was out of hand. You know? Defense wasn't, they couldn't stop nothing. You they could, know? They could stop this water from going and, down the sea. Man. And of course, you know our quarterback, even though he's got all the money, he's still the same dude. Hmm. Money don't make you better. You know no. what I'm saying? It just highlights your weaknesses even more. You know? And the look, the blueprint is out. Okay? How you beat it's been out how to beat the Cowboys. You stack the box, take away the run, make Dak beat you. That's how you beat the Cowboys. That's how you beat the Cowboys. And it's not a good thing, man, because it's too early for you for you to be figured out already. And the first thing, you ain't even got to stack the box to stop the wrong. Oh, God, well, man, but oh, man. I mean, but that just goes <laughs> to show you how much people don't respect Dak. So I don't understand. Like I said, they voting, they, they putting Dak up in them numbers, just being disrespectful, quite honestly, I believe, you know, because they don't even hey, believe what they say. There's a lot of disrespect going on for an officer. Yeah. Place. Yeah. But, not, but, but this is the whole thing. Dallas didn't do nothing that I haven't saw them do do any last. I, 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 this is a typical Mike McCarthy team. Sometimes Mike McCarthy team go out and just lay eggs. Yeah, they don't like they don't know what's going on. And then, and and, and me personally, this is this is how I feel about Mike McCarthy team. I think Dallas still win 10, 11 games. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, yeah but Baltimore thought, coming in this week, zero yeah. and two, and hungry. Yeah. And I mean, look, in order for them to do that, they need to shear up that off or that defensive line, first of all. You got Aaron, my boy Aaron, uh, what's, what's my boy Aaron, Aaron Donald. Donald? Sitting over here retired, waiting for somebody to come pick him up. And meanwhile, we sitting here getting gashed. It's up to, it's, it's, and you think we about to stop Lamar Jackson and, and Derrick Henry? Yeah. Who gonna stop them? Like, I don't, you know. And I think the Cowboys are too media-driven. They listen to the media too much because after, after that first week, they thought, this is just what, what I think, because they thought, like, oh, we, we beat Cleveland. Cleveland was a solid team last year. Good DV, woo, 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 woo. They was, they was thinking that New Orleans is going to be the easy week between two tough games. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking because they went out like they – was unprepared. Yep. They was lackluster. Yep. You know, and and they played like they do every time they get behind. Yes, they did. They have no, and this is. Well, that, once they get behind, I don't think the team believes that their quarterback can get, can come I don't back. even think they believe that nobody can do nothing. Yeah. Because once they get behind, the defense lay down too. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying about the defense not believing Dak going to do anything to come back. Like, But this is the whole thing. If I'm a great defensive player, okay, I'm going to get a sack. I'm going to – maybe maybe if I'm, you know, Michael Parsons, I get a strip sack or something to change the moment. I'm not just going to lay down too. Because, I mean, you know, and that's the way Dallas do this in a collective effort. When I see yep. them play like this, you you see nobody playing like, okay, at least I'm trying all. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just, man, I'm just, you know, uh, and that's just and, the way and, the Cowboys And I, I can't put the whole blame on Dak. But you can put. And I'm not going to try to. But, but you put a bunch of. Absolutely, but I'm just well, you like. The I'm ball just tired. I'm time. tired of all the Dak apologists. Like, it's the defense. It ain't Dak. No, hey, bro. Oh, no, it's Dak. The defense, the wide receivers, the. And, 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 and I'm, I'm just going to say it like this to me. When I see, when I see Miami playing Cincinnati, at uh, uh, Kansas City, I see their receivers sometime during the game get wide open. Yep. Those receivers are never wide open. Man. They're always a, the, battling for them. I mean, even on the routes that I, I, I don't know if it's the schemes or what, but our receivers seem like they always are covered. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Seem like, I mean, you know, I see other receivers, they uh, 
What did Trip say? No, that's Goo. Goo oh. Punch, what it do? He said they didn't stack the box in this game. They stacked the box early in this game. It was nine in the box on the first on the first plays, but they didn't have to later in the game. They was up. Well, well yeah. They, 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 they playing deep. Yeah, they they yeah. playing soft coverage. Early in the game. Defense. Early in the game. When they got seven, we got three. They came right back, got seven, held us, and got seven. It said, no, nah, they ain't got stacking no more now because you got throw. Yeah. That's that's the first quarter. Ain't even over yet. Ain't you're even the, over yet. And you're a throwing, throwing situation. Yeah, absolutely. Well, how many times you run the ball last game? Like six or something like that? Like very few times we even ran the football, you know, but uh, – and, and when we get in throwing situations, <laughs> the game is over, dog. The game is over. Y'all see what happened when, when Dak started. Dak has never been a drop back passer. He's never been Peyton Manning. He's never been no uh, Tom Brady. He's never been that dude. Remember, he came in like a glorified Tebow. Dude, they can run and, and get the ball down the field. Another time, I, how, how many times? Look, I saw, I know at least twice last game. We have guys running up the sideline, got their man beat, and Dak underthrows the underthrows the receiver. Now they got to come back. They made the catch. Yeah, instead that should have been a touchdown. You take C C D Lamb sixty six yards off of that one play. My oh, boy stats got... looking pedestrian around this month. Oh, stats look pedestrian anyway. Yeah, yeah, they did. But you take them sixty six yards out of there, and it's even worse. You know. So I'm just saying, man. These boys got to, you know. It's gonna be a long season, but oh, I already, yeah. oh, I already anticipated that. Season, but that, like I say, they'll they'll get on run, win four, five games in a way, row, and they'll look like they're doing something. Dallas fans will jump all back on the bandwagon. Yep. And then when they get in the playoffs, oh boo, here we go again. Only, I'm only just bandwagon. Saying, I'm jumping on some Dallas that. Texans, aka <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs, around here, man. I am the newest member to the Kansas City Chiefs family. <laughs> I almost won my Kansas City Chiefs hat today, but it oh. didn't match. So well, you know, I've been on my Kansas City Monarchs you know, been, hat, but it didn't, I ain't it never didn't left Kansas City. I ain't never left. Them. I got this D turned around to the back. I ain't never <laughs> left. I ain't never left Kansas City. I love my city though. Oh, oh yeah, but I love Cowboys them too. Suck. Oh yeah, they, I mean, you know, the man, the truth is what it is. Yeah, and it's, it's nothing. To, there's nothing to look forward to in this season. Up for the next three seasons after this, because we got the same trash quarterback. I'm looking forward to Trey Lance learning. I don't know. He, Trey can't even learn in this environment. Uh, he, what, he's going to learn from Dak's mistakes? What you going to learn for? Because learn. this is the first thing. They're not putting 40, 50 million on the bench. You can learn all you Ab want absolutely to. Absolutely not. You They're can not learn all to. you want to. And that, <laughs> again, man. You can't learn enough man, to they, take your spot. We're handcuffed again. Again, we're handcuffed uh, by this contract. No franchise that? clause. No trade clause. 231 million guaranteed for what, bruh? Sleep number commercials? You know? Like, he's a very marketable guy. And that's why they're paying him the money because he represents the brand well. Bro, I could have represented the brand well and, and gave the same production. Oh, yeah. That uh, giving, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, what about Trips? I'm still rocking with the whole team, too. Yeah. I'm going to call. Hey, just like Trips I said. Trips rocking with them Texans, though. Oh, dang. It don't matter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't root for a Houston team. I got too many homies down there to talk too much smack. So I ain't ever rooting for a Houston team. You know, if it, unless it's the comments coming back to the WNBA, then I root for them. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, it ain't going down like that. It ain't going down like that round here, man. So, uh, but yeah, man. But I mean, and the Saints defense, they have been quietly, they have been a really good defense for a few years now. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. run stopping defense, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. keeping them in the game. But that new coordinator, Alvin Kamara, looks like he is MVP for him. Like he is, you know, like he had that that youth serum over the over the all season. Yeah, that's just two weeks. Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm just, just saying. saying. Yeah, I mean, that's oh, yeah. all we can go off of right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they beat us worse than they beat the Panthers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They beat the Panthers what 41-17? Yeah, they, yeah, they beat us 44 19 yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, I'm pretty yeah man. Yeah. So uh, that should say something right there. That should tell you something right there about, about what level uh, we're on right now. As a, as a franchise, as a team here in Dallas, man, I just I just don't get it. But what they can go do to, to help this team out is go pick up Aaron Donald, like I said. The man sitting there retired. Last year, he already told him at the trade deadline, hey, come pick me up. I'm ready. Come pick me up. <laughs> you know? But... What oh, are we yeah. doing? Absolutely nothing with that. No, no. And I don't get that. Because that man 
is a, a a force to be reckoned with. Well, you got to now you now you got to run. Now you now you don't have no choice but to run outside. Yep, you ain't running up the middle. Yep. So I don't I don't I don't understand what's going on there. But that make too much sense. Yeah, man. Yeah, that make way too much sense. Oh, the Panthers score ten. <laughs> Jeez, man, it's crazy. It is crazy, man. But same thing, same thing. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, but uh, no, nah, it's you know the, the Saints. They they never been that far away. They just injuries and uh, you know uh, bounties and coaches getting suspended and well, yeah. all that good stuff is yeah. taking place in the most recent years. But yeah, man, nah, I'm just kind of I'm already over the Cowboys and we just got started, which is crazy, which is absolutely crazy to think about. Man. Well, so, I didn't know it, it wasn't enough for me to get over because. They they go they did exactly what I expect for them to do. Yeah. When the going get tough, they lay down. Yep. Yep. They so go lay down and they lay down all together. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, last, last time I can recall playing Baltimore at home, or maybe just because the memory was so bad. Uh, you remember when Willis McGay he just put the game away in the playoffs, or we was trying to get to the playoffs, and he just we gave up two runs right up the middle. Was that Tony Romo? I believe so. Yeah, I, I believe I so. That. Yeah, I think I do yeah, and that, that's that's my memory of the Ravens uh, coming to Dallas, and I have no reason to believe that anything different is gonna happen this time. I'm still gonna pick Dallas because I said it. You got Dallas in this man, game. Man, you know what I said? I, I said I'm gonna pick Dallas every week, I'm, and I ain't finished it. It's, I'm gonna pick them again. Well, I gotta I gotta go with Baltimore in this one, <laughs> just because those guys are coming in 0 two. I think everybody comes into Dallas looking at these balls like they soft, and that's just. No, I did. I'm gonna tell you. I this think day. I think they saw. Quite honestly. Oh, oh, oh! I do too. And this is what I have noticed over the years too. A lot of teams put too much stock in beating Dallas. Yeah. After, now San Francisco and Philly don't, but a lot of teams when they beat Dallas, they ain't no more good either because they think they done did something. Yeah. And been I and I keep telling beating Dallas is right longer now. He's squat. Yeah. And, and man, the moves that we make don't make sense. Right, like Kansas City Chiefs, like you said, Goo Punch, they went back and signed Kareem Hunt. He was one of the names I brought up. Was like, why aren't we looking at Kareem Hunt? The man had good seasons up in Cleveland. Kareem Hunt might not be looking at us, and he still got fresh legs. Kareem Hunt may not be looking at us. I wouldn't be either. Yeah, like I don't, be. I don't, I think teams come in here and know that they can out physical these boys. What we got a know? bunch of finesse boys, what man. They, now this is what teams come in here and know. That if we get ahead early, they're going to lay down and make it easy for us. Absolutely. And I also believe they think these boys are soft. Oh, what am I describing? Who do that but soft people? Exactly. Lay down. Exactly, Soft people man. lay down. And, and they always go take a nap. Y'all, all y'all Front go, runners, man. All y'all go take a nap with that nail was. He tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, it's bad, man. But... I mean, and the only reason I'm just going to take the Cowboys because I said I was going to take them every week. Yeah. And Baltimore is looking. I know the Cowboys looking horrible. I know Baltimore ain't looking that bad, yeah. but they ain't. They just ain't gotta good. figure it out. You know, oh, they got yeah. some new linemen in place, and that's oh, always yeah. that's always difficult. The communication side of things, those, you know, those we got interior. three new linemen too. We got three too. Yeah, and three. They new? got three. Yeah, yeah, they got three, and Dallas got three. Yeah, but our line ain't been the issue. It's the dudes that's behind the line that's the issue. Oh, the line been the issue. Everything been our issue. I mean, the line ain't been we, we wasn't giving. I mean, yeah, they was getting beat up last night. <laughs> the Saints just made us look I mean, you know, we like, always had. All phases of our the game line always had great potential that it never lived up to. Because Tyron Smith come in and played three or four games alongside Zach Martin. Yeah. And then a uh, uh, tragic Frederick had to return. Yeah. When they three would play together, they did we had well. a very solid line. Absolutely. But that would only happen four or five weeks at a time. Yeah, you're right. You, if that. If they're because Tyron, Tyron barely Tyron played. Tyron, bam, he out. That boy back. Bam, he out. Out of we, there. Because when he first came, we thought he was finna be the Larry Allen type. Yeah. You know, you know, not necessarily, when I say type, I didn't say to be Larry Allen. Yeah. I say type, but he wasn't healthy. I think if he would have had health, he might have been a lot better, but his health was, and they said the best ability is available. And you know, I think the problem, I heard, uh, I heard uh, BB uh, talking about, uh, you know, him taking on this center role for the first time ever, you know. Uh, he never played center in college. And he his mentioned that to get ready, you know, he, he had to get ready fast because he had to go up against Mozzie Smith every day. Mozzie's like a scout team nose guard. No. Yeah. Tackle, whatever you want to call him. Like, if if the guys that you're playing against, is if that's the best that you got, 
You about to get whooped come season. Yeah, you you may be handling the guy you go out against every day, but he may be tissue paper soft. Mediocre. Song. Yeah, you handling him, so you feeling good about yeah, yourself. Oh man, yeah man. So and I'm gonna tell you this to me, just to me. I don't. I mean, when I just look at Dallas players, but it seems like you know what I really think Dallas also need. What's that? I think they need a strength and conditioning coach. Oh man, because they don't look strong. They got a beautiful facility. They don't look strong, man. Because they're always getting tossed. Yeah, yeah. Michael Parson is Michael Parson letting uh, running running backs chop him down. Yeah, the t- I seen the tight end chipping, and then the running back come and cut his legs out of him. If I seen it once, I seen it seven times Sunday. Yeah, I saw the same thing, man. And I'm like, come on, man, you are you a top level linebacker? You don't let that happen. Yeah, over and over. Yeah, man. Over and over. Yeah, and, over, it's, over. and it's. And you said you ain't even see D-Law for the longest oh. last game. <laughs> the only time I saw D-Law was in the huddle. I never saw him in doing the play. Like when they say D-Law is back, I say back from where? Yeah. He, he, D-Law, for the last two years, you know, year before last, he got five sacks. Last year, he got four and a half. So I'm saying he back from where? Yeah. He ain't, he ain't never. Yeah, he's still here. The same D-Law. Yeah. They got four, five sacks for the whole year. He's here. Yeah. He ain't back. He ain't went nowhere. He's right there. That, that's who he doing is. Doing nothing. But we hope, that he would, he we hope that he would play better on that 4-3, man. But. You know, Dallas, a lot of our players are built on potential and hope. We hope they do better. They can do this. He got the, he's 6'5", he get 290, he run a 4'6", he, but when the game come, he don't do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And that's, you know, when, uh, when, you, when you're good at developing players, you can draft guys like that. You can draft Mozzie Smiths, you know, yeah. guys that need a little more development to to reach their potential. But we ain't developing nobody. That ain't mm. us, man. No, we ain't developing nobody. That ain't nobody. us. No. In- including quarterback, but. No. Anyways, I ain't going to go too hard on them Cowboys today, man. But yeah. y'all know, like, I can't even go hard on them more because my expectations are so low. <laughs> like, it is what it is. I don't, I mean, you know, like I said, I don't care about regular season. My expectation when the playoffs come. And no matter how good they do in regular season, my expectation in playoffs is not. It's pretty much nothing. Yeah, I expect nothing from Dallas in the playoffs. But I still think they win 10, 11 this this year right here. I do, because that's Mike McCarthy. Because when he was a coach at Green Bay, but sometimes Green Bay go out and lay out. Because you know, Aaron Rodgers used to always come out after four or five games and tell y'all, I'm just relax, we're gonna be all right. But you know, he done did that. Yeah. He did you know, he did it once since he been here. But he's E L A X. But he used to but don't you remember he 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 used he said that two or three times while Mike went, this is we still got seven games to go. Relax, we're gonna be in the playoff. Zeke yeah. had six carries. And you say he can't Rico, run. Rico do Dotto had seven carries. How do we know they can't run? They ain't touching the ball. Deuce Vaughn had four carries. And this is, you know, I we ain't have enough plays. And then not only, yeah, we didn't have enough plays. And then how many times Dak, Dak throw the ball? 42 times. Oh, I'm sorry. 39 times. Cooper Rush threw it three times. So we didn't even have the ball but 40 something plays. And, and almost Dak, 50 plays. We didn't have the ball. You take away that 66 yard pass, Dak threw for 227 in this game. And all that was at the when it didn't. Yeah, the, when it didn't matter no more. Yeah, absolutely. QBR, 53.4. Like, man, look, I done told y'all several times, eventually y'all gonna open your ears, your ear holes, and hit me. The dude is not a top tier quarterback. Jerry Jones, you can see it in Jerry Jones' face. He knew that he made the mistake of his life. He knew too late. It's like, bro, like, I'm just trying to see, is that like didn't a- know that. It ain't no 10 day, it ain't because no 10 day option thought- on that contract? Because this is this is what I really no thought. Ten day Jerry money was back guarantee. I thought Jerry was gonna let him play his contract Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Because this is what guys do in their contract year. They play like hell. Yeah, like you would you would have played like hell. Yep. Played your contract out. Yep. And even if you want to play all game, bye. Because when I give you the money, you are gonna revert worse than you was. Yeah. Like most guys do. Yep. They they ball out in their contract year. Yep. As soon as they get that contract year, they look like a different player. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't get it, man. I do. And that, I don't, for and the Dak, life of me. Dak the might not have been elite, but right now he ain't even looking good as he did last year. Yeah. Right now he's looking horrible, man. Yeah, you're right. Because you know what happened? He got the money. He got he the money, and he didn't have any type of uh, he had training camp, but he didn't play any preseason games. Or, you know, I don't, I don't let the, I don't hold too much weight in these first four games. But like I told you, I expected them to beat New Orleans, right? 
I expected them to be one and two at this point, and they are one and two. And I, I still expect well, them to win seven. Right uh, one and one. Yeah, yeah. I expect them to be one and one at this point. Yeah, I thought they well, would beat New Orleans. I thought they'd if they would have beat New Orleans, so and then even if they did lose to the Ravens, you, you're two and one. But when you go one and two, and you're trying to be a twelve or thirteen win team, you're just you're getting a trouble. Now, now you got to win seven, eight in a row. Yeah, to even have a chance of doing that. Yeah, man. So you know, and I just don't see them doing that. You know, they <sighs> they still can get in the ten. I, I think they can get ten. Yeah, I said eleven to thirteen. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to more like, like looking like Lem, not 13. <laughs> we going to see for sure. Yeah, we'll see. It ain't looking but anyway, good right moving now. on. Moving on. So, Bryce Young, my gosh. My boy getting benched for Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton. So, who drafted Bryce Young? <laughs> so, who the, drafted the him? The Carolina Panthers drafted him number one overall. So, who's benching him? The Carolina Panthers are benching him for Andy okay, so, Dalton. So, so, the Carolina Panthers is the one that's stupid. Yeah. I mean, but if, if whoever had that first pick was going to draft him. He's an Alabama guy. Yeah, absolutely. Nick Saban could so win with like him. Know, and I'm going to tell you like this. And the doctor ain't going to. No, and no, Andy Dalton ain't gonna do nothing. What he can do, what Bryce can do, <laughs> is sit back, and not take some hits. That Andy Dalton's in there to basically get CTE. Like he's just in there to take some shots, right? Okay. And hopefully show uh, Bryce Young because Andy Dalton wasn't a bad quarterback when he was in Cincinnati. No, 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 no. He wasn't a bad quarterback here in Dallas. No, you no, know, like no, he's no, a no. he's a, a veteran that knows how to he's play the game. Colt McCoy. Yeah, Colt McCoy type guy. But with, with less athleticism, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I, I think Andy Dalton, what he can do is, is is show him some of his veteran tricks. Some of you know, hopefully, uh, he he sees the defenses and recognizes defenses better pre snap. Yeah, I think it's some things that Bryce Young can take from it, but I think the boy Feelings is hurt, and I, I like I said, I think he'll one day be a a USFL or XFL or Canadian Football League MVP or something. But uh, my boy, very little, and uh, he's not showing that he can play at this level right now at all. Well, it's a, I mean, you know, a couple years ago they were saying the same thing. Now they think Kyle Murray can play. I, mean, I never. Who, whoever said Kyler Murray couldn't play is my question. Well, well, they, like, a lot of people you were watching? saying that. A whole lot of people were saying that his first couple of years. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't when he wasn't coming through. Is, yeah. he, is he smaller than Kyler Murray? Yeah, he is. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, Bryce so, Young. Yeah, Kyler Murray at least got muscle on his body. No, I'm just saying uh, Kyler Murray. Bryce Young like five ten, like one seventy. Well, he just put on because that boy little because of Kyler Murray five <laughs> ten. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody lying. Yeah, he got, he got them them yeah, two inch yeah. inserts in his. In yeah, his shoe. I mean, you know, he. Yeah, I don't I don't know how little he is, but this is the whole thing. These these are teams and different stuff. They always try to put the weight on other people. But man, when you make mad bad decisions, don't try to denigrate this guy now just because you made a bad decision. Yeah, work with him, and if he can't do it, just let him go. Yeah, I mean, look, they got they can't let the rest of the team down. Unlike our organization that would have paid Bryce Young two hundred sixty million after these performances. But, uh, you know, it's like this guy's coming out. Nobody has faith in him. Like, what what else do we do? We got to make a change. They're forced to. You know what I mean? They're forced to make that change. So it, it sucks. It sucks for them. Uh it sucks for the Panthers. But It sucks also, for the young man, too. Yeah, absolutely, it sucks for him. But, but, uh, when you draft me better. and then you have you have no, no uh, uh, nothing uh, structurally in place for me to advance and then you put the, all the weight on me so what so what uh quarterback has the Carolina the, the Carolina did not do a good job with Cam Newton so don't so Carolina been had uh they had another decent quarterback Carolina's terrible with quarterback so some of that is on Carolina yeah no doubt and and yeah. you know again it's all about the situation that you go that you go into yeah right look at Justin Herbert over there with the, uh, the Chargers right now oh, with, with, with uh, Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. Right? My boy's 2-0 and now. And you want to know why? Because they're not trying to design the whole offense around him. They actually got a game plan. They running the ball. J.K. Dobbins, I think, might be the leading rusher in the league right now. Boy, going in. Like, Harbaugh has a system that can carry to any league on any team 
And he plays. He runs the football. He has two tights. Like, he old school with it. No, oh, no. Like, old school Giants with it. You know? He's the... Uh, it, it's taking a quarterback to bring the running game back to the NFL. Right? You see what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is which is odd. Right? You you think Jim Harbaugh would get his hands on, on Josh Herbert and, and, and get to launching that thing. Throwing that ball all over the place. But that's oh, not yeah. the case. Nah. That's not the case at all, man. That's not the case at all, man. But uh, those guys look really good over there. So uh, what you think about this whole Jamar Chase situation, right? Uh, he got a, he caused the, the Bengals a, a penalty late in that game Sunday, which ultimately led to them losing uh, because, of course, Pat Mahomes pulled a Brady move and threw a ball up and got a pass interference call to get the team in field goal oh, position, oh, yeah. right? Which is ultimately how they beat the Cincinnati Bengals in that game. It's a lot of people saying, you know, the script is... Everybody knew the script, you know? Like, that, saying that, that it was pass interference, but I wouldn't have called it. Like, that's the same type of pass interference that occurs on a Hail Mary that never gets called. Well, the well the, the, the script only works when you allow the opportunity for the script to work. I mean, I'm just saying, Cincinnati could have scored 40. Yeah. The script wouldn't have worked because they would have had 23. Yeah. And the script wouldn't have worked. But yeah. when you play, you know, and I, and and I don't think you can go tell Cincinnati hold back, don't give all you got. The Cincinnati gave all they got, yeah. and then Kansas City was was done. And if the script did, and if it is scripted, whatever, you got all these plays during the game to make the script not work. And that common denominator will make you believe a script. That yeah, common denominator absolutely. is Pat Mahomes. Yeah, man. And that hey, just Joe Burrow had the same face Josh Allen had on his face. Like I can't do nothing else. Yeah. I put my team in a position to win, and we lost it on this last drive, and I ain't on the field. Like, what can you do? Pat Mahomes is better than your defense. No, yeah, and then this whole thing. Well, you know what? Could, I mean, you know, you know how I walk here. You know, you can look, you can, you can look like that all you want to, Joe Bell, but you can go back through through the game and look at several plays that if, if you would have did this, maybe I would have had thirty one, yeah, still twenty five. Yep. So, I mean, it's, it's always things you can do. Yeah, for sure. Because you played the whole game. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But Move also, uh, with those San Francisco 49ers, actually, we got to kick a shout-out to Sam Darnold, who was cut by those San Francisco 49ers and went out and beat them in the Minnesota Vikings uniform. Oh, yeah. Sam Darnold is 2-0 right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's still early, and it's still And he's still young. I think Sam Darnold's only like 26 years old. Yeah, like uh, in uh, San Francisco... You know, McCaffrey is out. Yep. Debo Samuel's out. And Debo Samuel's out now. And we Debo's already know how that yeah, works out. Yeah, every time Debo Samuel's don't play pretty much. And boys don't they win. They have one but one game that Without Debo, Debo Samuel's Samuel. out. Yeah. Every yeah. other game he was out, they lost. So, Brock Purdy, you get to earn your, your cho-chos uh, oh, yeah, yeah. for the next few weeks, man. Oh, yeah. You get to earn your dollars. And uh, maybe, maybe Brock can earn more money. Yeah. You know, if he goes yeah. out and plays well. Yeah. Now, it's a lot of people saying that he is absolutely a game manager now. Man, you know, all these catchphrases. Like the I'm good with a game manager. Trent Dilfer was a game manager. Joe Flacco was a game manager. It's a lot of game managers that win Super Bowls. Guys that can manage it well. Man, there's some guys that got bigger names than that to game manager. Yeah. But they didn't, they didn't go out. You got you got guys that didn't just go out and light it up. Yeah. If you don't go out, if you're not, I'm like Cam Newton now. If you're not a game, you ain't but two things. You're a game changer or you're a game manager. Yeah. And this is, and I would say this: more game managers have won Super Bowls than game changers. Yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Because typically, if a quarterback is a star on the team, I mean, don't have know, too much talent around because they can't know, afford it. A whole lot of people might not agree with me, but I think, I think you, so most of your multiple, multiple Super Bowl winners is, is, is managers. They not. They ain't going out there trying to run 400 yards and throw for 400. They, okay, I'm going to take it what you give me. You give me eight, I'm going to take eight. You give me four, I'm going to take four. You give me six, but now you got a first down. Yeah. See, Pat Mahomes yeah. is special. Yeah, yeah. Because Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Mahomes is both. That's exactly He's what I was both. about to say. He can manage a game with and, and, and what he, he did in the Super Bowl. It. And he can change it. He did what he had. He did just enough. Because and, and, uh, He's not going to lose the game for you doing too much, trying to know. do too much. And but people, at the same time, Late in that fourth quarter, people get mad. Win that game. People get mad at you, man. Tom Brady 
and Troy Eggman is game manager. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah, you're right. I ain't never seen them just go, oh, we, Tom, you're going to throw 50 times and we ain't going to run. Just take over the game. Okay, then when, then when they cut it off, you're going to break and run for 12? No. Yeah. You know, and then when you got random balls, you're going to do this mm -hmm. every now and then. Mm -hmm. But you're going to manage the game by what the defense is doing. Absolutely. That's, I mean, know, that's so how the game is supposed the, to be played. So all these catchphrases, game managing, all that. Man, you better try to hope you can get you an elite game manager yeah. and you can win some games. Hat on a hat, man. Everybody yeah. do their job, man. Yeah. Like, every game should be managed well by, by quarter, uh, adequate Yeah, and that's one of Dak Prescott, man. He don't know how to manage because he don't know when to throw deep, when to throw over the middle. He, he just go out and just do. Dak doesn't check out of plays. He does not. Yeah. He don't call hot routes. He doesn't, you know, last week, okay, they ran in reverse. Dak knew or should have known that the defense was not in man coverage. You don't run a reverse in zone because nobody's getting fooled. Yeah, nobody's going to leave their zone. So instead of checking out of the play, he run it anyway. That's Dak Prescott. Yeah. He's not a good man. He's like, not a good game manager. He's not a good quarterback. Yeah, that's a whole lot. I he's mean, a you know, bottom, bottom, you know, so bottom, bottom third quarterback, in my opinion. So, that's, when, these, that's all I so say when these people it. come up with all these little old catchphrases, man, I'll be like, they don't even bother me because I'll be like, he a game manager good. He know what he doing. Yeah. Yeah, man. He know what he doing. Yeah, man. So, uh, and then lastly, or not lastly, uh, we, we talked about Deshaun Watson and his rough week last weekend. Uh, father passed away on Friday. One of his good friends passed away on Saturday, former teammate. Went out and laid a goose egg against the Cowboys on Sunday. A week later, he takes on, it's a basically a Clemson Tiger versus Clemson Tiger matchup. Yeah. We got, not basically, it was a Clemson Tiger versus Clemson Tiger matchup. We got Trevor Lawrence, the, the golden boy, Sunshine, taking on uh, Handyman, right? And uh, you like that nickname I just gave to Sean Watson? <laughs> Off top. The handyman right there, dog. He need to keep his hands to hey, himself, hey, dog. He, oh, he, was, <laughs> he need to keep It ain't hand. his hands. You need to keep your hand to a cell. It's, it's them other hands that he yeah. that he falls in love with, right? But uh, but no, nah, man. So, you know, he went out and beat Trevor Lawrence this week. I don't think anybody saw the way they bashed him. And it's not like Deshaun just went out and put up four hundred yards. I think think he threw for like one hundred and seventy six yards or something like that. Yeah. But he managed the game. He wasn't turning it over. He let his defense do what they did, put yeah. that pressure on them boys. Yeah, absolutely. Extended drives, let, yeah, let the defense yeah. get a break, right? Yeah. Let that defense come back refreshed and do what they got to do, and he scored enough points to win the game. That's how football should be played. All this extra, all these throwing like 500 times a game, like that ain't, that's 707, bro. Go play. That can go be in that flag football tournament coming man, they up. Get, man, they, get, they got a set. Anytime Dallas don't want to run the ball, what is it, 20 times they have lost every game? Absolutely. Anytime Dak throws the ball over 30 times, we're losing. I think he's maybe won two or three games his whole career throwing the ball 40 times or more. You see your 40 in that attempts? Yeah, yeah. Most for Dak, of the time, yeah, most that's an L. Yeah, because oh, he's not that dude. No, he is not. No, he's not. Cowboys need to be running double tight. First off, you got to get some good types to run double. Well, no doubt. But I'm saying, like, understanding your quarterback, oh, yeah. you should not be spread out. Yeah, so you should be. Get out of the shot. I shouldn't hear him say nothing about no, here we go. He need to be up under center, you know, uh, purple, purple, whatever. Yeah. Hut, you know what I mean? Like, that, he's not that dude to be back there, bro. So I'm so frustrated behind that whole, <laughs> that whole contract, like, Hey, I, Anybody that know me know I'm hey, like, hey, man, but I, I told you, man. Right I say if you don't get the money now, you gonna get it then. We get this money, man. I was done. I was done with that four years ago. Is the thing, huh? How can they? How can I see? Are they? Are they just like in the building too close to them or something? To where they can't really see the real what's going on. Like we, have, have his words been, hypnotized? We didn't discuss what they playing for Dak for. We we ain't got to keep on going on. Has that. Dakota Rain done a rain dance and? Uh, Completely yeah, just done some magic on them boys, man. We can brand. actually get off that, but we already discussed it. Yeah, it's, you know, 
they paying Dak for all the other stuff. We yeah, already man. discussed that. I didn't mean to go. Yeah, back I'm trying to, to talk about Dak, really. Yes. I'm trying to talk about Dak and the man, Cowboys. I can't, I can't stand Because they ain't going to do squad. About it. At all. They, and they, and they might win and keep making money, game, man. But they ain't going to do nothing in the playoffs, hey. no matter what happens. So that's what. That's I ain't even worried about the record. No. If they do bad in the regular season, so be it, because you weren't going to do nothing in the playoffs anyway. If you do good in the regular season, you're going to get in the uh, playoffs and lay a yeah. So either way, I ain't even. The only way I ain't even they're going to make a move off of Dak is if people stop going to the games, stop buying oh, merch. Oh, they ain't going to do that. That ain't happening. No, they've been doing that since the 60s. People go to the games just to tailgate. Yeah. Kick it. It's and a good then, time yeah, out and there. Then, and, and then Until you lose buy, and go home and with then your, people buy merch your face. For all the da- Dallas merch is not, yeah. not going down. Yeah, yeah no, that's not, that's, not that's not they happening. They might not buy his jersey, yeah. but Dallas merch is going to stay up there. Absolutely. And then finally, uh, last week, everybody's making a big deal about Kyler Murray not throwing the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. And then actually making a comment that that wasn't his job to get him the ball, right, after that game. Just blew everybody's mind because the guy is highly talented. You know, everybody knew he was going to be the number one receiver taken out of the draft last year for the whole year for two years. Oh, yeah. Right? And now he's finally on this team. I got him on my fantasy. My boy had four catches for 130 yards in the first half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he ended with four catches for 130 yards. <laughs> I kind of understand it because it's still early in the season. They probably we, start we, doubling. We see what he can do. Yeah, and then they might have dub, start doubling and taking him away, too. Well, I mean, if we up, ain't no point to keep going to my guy. I ain't going to risk no injury early yeah. in the season yeah. right now. That's, that's a solid and game. And if I don't need him. I yeah. Mean, yeah, if you already got 130, I don't need you to win. Now, if I need you to win, I kind of got to keep you warm. But, yeah, it's a, it's I a, mean, are his routes, a lot of reasons. Yeah. Are his routes that saucy, though? Like, because them numbers are serious right there, man. Well, you've been working with Marvin Harrison Sr. for all his life. You yeah. Know? His rides is saucy. Hey, Marvin. Yeah. His, his, he ought to have the best foot. Man, his daddy had some footwork. That boy so, Papa gangster. Yeah, so he ought to. Marvin ain't playing no games hey, with him. On the field all. Find you in that alley, dog. It's bad news messing with Marvin. Big senior. Hey, be up there. Hey, don't get caught at that car walk. Hey, <laughs> hey, big Marvin say, hey, bro. Hey, forget all them jerseys. Forget all that, dog. You ain't giving them no rights to nothing. If you sell a jersey, you make the bread off of it. Yeah. You know, and it's, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work out for him, but uh, yeah, man. No, that kid can play. That kid can absolutely oh, yeah. play ball. So, oh, yeah. But we're going to keep this thing riding. Keep it moving. Keep it rolling on. What we got up next? What we got up next? Who we at? What we got? What we got? I'm getting used to this new. Oh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Good, the bad, and the ugly. What was your good from this past weekend in football in the NFL? Um, can I get can I get some crown before you? Yeah, in the uh, my good. <sighs> I hate I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no bandwagon, but my good is uh, what Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> you know. They just know how to win. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Yeah, they know how to win, and they uh, play hard, and they never quit. Yeah, so that was a good. One. Yeah, and it, for the me, bad, oh yeah, let me, let me, oh, yeah. Let me no, 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 no. I will tell you mine when you're done. Oh, uh, the bad <laughs> was the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, all the way around. All the way around. Period. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys were bad. The, Cab- the Dallas Cowboys was bad. Yeah. Oh. Trip said. Oh, yeah. uh, Trip said the coaches were saying that uh, the, the coaches weren't scheming uh, to get Harrison the ball. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, the bad was the Dallas Cowboys, the way they played on offense, defense, and uh, all of that. And the ugly was the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ugly part was that they looked like they they had no idea. Yeah, looked like they wasn't even coached up. Looked like they were, you know, not trying to be funny. But it's it's like oh, I'm talking to somebody to speak Italian. It ain't gonna work out. We don't know what the hell each other's talking about. Yeah, man, different pages. And, and this is the whole thing. 
it looked like that the Italian guy could understand English, but the English guy can't yeah. understand Italian. Yep. Cause New Orleans understood everything Dallas was saying, yeah. and Dallas didn't understand nothing they were saying. Yeah, it was a, it was, a, it, was a, it, it, it looked it was so ugly. They looked unprepared. Yeah, and that goes to coaching. That's ugly, man. Absolutely. When you are not prepared for what the other team is going to do. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. And, and that, that don't make no sense for you yeah. not to be prepared. You've been watching film all week. Like you, you drop, you drop your whole. Yeah, game, got number one game. Exactly, one man. game at a time. Exactly. So yeah. for me, the good this week, uh, it's got to be uh, my boy up in Minnesota, Sam Sam Darnold. Right, my boy been the <laughs> to the Jets, horrible organization. The Panthers, horrible organization. Then he went to San Francisco, and then they released him. And then he came back and beat them boys. They just released him recently. Yeah. Came back and beat them. Right? Beat uh beat old Brock Purdy. So I thought that was a and, and he swag, you know, he, he was talking smack about it. That's what you get for cutting me. You know, he he walking around like the old Minnesota quarterback. Oh yeah. You know, when uh you like that when he was in uh, uh in Washington? Uh, Kirk, Kirk Cousins, Cousins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like that, but uh, my boy Sam Donald was like, he was just dapping everybody up, like, yeah, they shouldn't have cut me, dog. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. You, that, that's what you get for cutting your boy, dog. So I like that as my good. The oh, bad. I like that too. Ooh, we got a couple different candidates right here. I'm trying to figure out which one's bad and which one's ugly. Okay, bad. My bad for this week was the Philadelphia Eagles on that last drive Monday night. Back to Kirk Cousins. My boy out there looking, trying to be like Peyton Manning, wearing number 18 with his shoulder pads up to his, the top of his helmet. That boy out there hunched up, you know, sleeves right here, dangling, short, you know, little, little twigs hanging out. My boy, I saw him warming up on the sideline. It looked like every throw on the sideline that he threw was painful. Every last one of them before that last drive. I was like, damn, is, is Kirk's shoulder all right? Because he grimacing. And he's just throwing the ball 15 yards away, 10 yards away. Why is he making that face? I was like, this ain't good. Come to find out, it was great. My boy went out there, minute, it took him like 50 something seconds to get down the field. Oh, yeah. You know? Drake, uh, London, beautiful move to score that touchdown. And the Eagles defense had nothing for it. Like, what is going on in Philly? So you're right, the Cowboys might end up in the playoffs because the. It's, it's, it's like the past five, ten years, the Eagles and the Cowboys are like doing everything they can to make this an interesting division. And it's not that interesting because neither one of them going to win or go very far. Yeah. You well, know? Philadelphia did go. Yeah, they, they went, uh, went the Super Bowl. A couple years ago, yeah. Yeah, they, they went with uh, they went with Jalen Hurts, Hurst, yeah. And then, you know, they won with Nick Foles. Yeah. So they've been last, you know. Yeah, they went two yeah. out of the last, what? They won two Super Bowls in the past, like, no, seven, eight years. No, they, ain't no more. No, they went to two. Oh, they, yeah, they no, won, won one and went to two, right? But uh, that was a, that was a, that was a, that was a bad drive. That was a bad defensive effort on that on that last drive. Uh, and then the ugly, I don't mean to harp on the young man, but Bryce Young, bro. It's just bad news right now for you, bro. I don't know what to – I don't know how you fix that. Like, there's a lot that has to take place because it's mental at this point, you know? Yeah, because didn't Bryce Young Alabama? And, uh, and, uh, didn't he? Didn't somebody have to transfer out because he started with that tour? Did no. Somebody... Oh, uh, you talk. Oh, Jalen Hurts. Yeah, he. No, can't... no, no. Jalen Hurts. It was Jalen Hurts, and then Tua came, and then Tua went to the NFL, and Bryce Young was oh, okay. the golden child, like oh, okay. greatest thing walking. Greatest quarterback we've ever but seen. One of them came in the national championship game. Yeah, Tua too. came in for, for Jalen Hurts. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I couldn't remember who exactly it was. That's when Jalen Hurts had oh. his dreads. He should have kept okay. his dreads. I think he I think he'd have won that Super Bowl if he kept his dreads. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but nah, man, that's you know, it, bad news going on in Carolina right now, man. It's gonna take a lot to fix that young man. He he needs a mental mm -hmm. coach. Mm -hmm. He needs to step away. He probably needs a, a change of scenery. A lot like uh, Zach, uh, my boy that was up in, uh, in in New York before Aaron Rodgers got there. Uh, uh, what's his name, Zach? Uh, yeah, Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my boy Zach Wilson, man. And y'all apologize for the uh, the spotty memory today, man. Long night, long, long night, long night, long night. 
But uh, we're going to keep this thing rocking, man. That is the good, the bad, and the ugly. And moving forward. I'm moving. We like to do this thing. It's rapid fire in here. Yeah, we both went 9-7 and seven last week in our predictions, right? Not necessarily what we want. Hey, and a matter of fact, if you want to bet with us on BetUS, I didn't have time to put the barcode in. I'm sorry, I just didn't have time. Go on over to the ingroupinternational.com. Go on and hit that Newman Sports and Tech uh, that tab. And then you can hit that barcode and, and bet with us at BetUS, man. But these are our picks for the week. We both went 9-7 and seven last week. That San Francisco game messed us both up. That, uh, that, that Ravens game messes both up. Let me see what else. Where my book at? Where my, let, me, let me see what games you lost, huh? I'm going to call you out first. Cowboys, of course, messes both up. You call the Bills to win. I call the Dolphins. That got me. Uh, looks like the yeah, the Ravens. Uh, you call the Browns to win. I call the Jags to win. That got me. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I went with the Commanders. You went with the Giants. That got you. I went with the Bucks. You went with the Lions. That got you. Because them Baker Mayfields are serious. And I'm tired of people talking down when I say something about Baker Mayfield being a top quarterback in this league. That young dude don't do nothing but win. I don't care what it look like. You don't got to be 6'5", 240 pounds, running oh, the rock. Yeah, you don't got to yeah. be Pat Mahomes. Last time I checked, Pat Mahomes and Baker Mayfield went to the brink when he was in Cleveland before they made the dumb decision to go oh, and yeah. get uh, Deshaun Watson instead of growing and building that young man that they had just drafted, that Heisman Trophy winner as well, you know? But it is what it is. Mistake they got to live with now. But uh, they don't like Baker attitude. That's what it is. Baker cocky, man. Baker Mayfield is the Caitlin Clark of the NFL. I'm going to call it like that. That's what it is. He is a Heisman winner, right? He got the same accolades in college just like Caitlin Clark did. He didn't score no. I don't, he put up some numbers now, but I don't think he was leading nothing to no touchdowns. Or no, I got to go back no. and check OU stat book, but I don't think I don't know how many records Baker Mayfield has at OU. But the boy did work in college. Oh yeah, and all he's done since he came to the NFL, even though people were questioning why he went number one. And if I was the Cleveland win. general manager, you would still be in Cleveland instead of Deshaun Watson. Absolutely. That's that, just me. And that That's guy, just me. I wonder if that guy still has a job right now. But, uh, you know, you picked the Rams. I picked the Cardinals. I got that one. We both, picked Pittsburgh. we both picked Pittsburgh, the Chiefs, and Houston to win. And then we picked the Eagles to win, and we both lost that one. So that's how we both ended up 9-7 last week. Okay. But moving on, this week's predictions. All right, uh, we're going rapid fire with it. Who you got? Thursday night football, Patriots, Jets. Who you got? Patriots. I got Jets. Ravens, Cowboys. Who you got? Cowboys. I got Ravens. Chargers, Steelers. Both two and O teams coming in. Who you got? Chargers. Ooh, they playing in Pittsburgh. Chargers. I'm taking Mike Tomlin. I can't go against the bros. Uh, Texans versus Vikings. Both two and O teams. Texans versus Vikings. Both two and O teams. Who you got? In Minnesota. Minnesota. I got the Vikings. I got the Texans in that one. I think C.J. Stroud and them boys are real deal. Joe Mixon, uh, Tank Dell, uh, uh, Diggs, them boys can go. Oh, yeah. Them boys can go. I can't Minnesota go against... do it with a lot of different quarterbacks. So they got a good solid squad around the quarterback. Yeah, well, now they just got Sam Darnold. Yeah, they in the day. But man. last year they had Dobbs in, in Dobbs, he yep. did good. All yep. Right. So I'm going to go Minnesota got a solid squad yeah. around the quarterback. They got a solid foundation around Yeah, just so does Texas. Yeah, so the absolutely. Texas. I'm going to go. Since they're in Minnesota, yeah. I'm going to go with that. I'm, I'm going with the Texans, man. Got, to, got to ride with them Texans, man. Oh, man. Uh, then we got the Eagles and the Saints in New Orleans. Who you got? I got the Eagles. I got the Saints, no doubt, uh, because uh, A.J. Brown is hurt. Uh, and I just – they just lost to the Falcons. That's all right. Like, I, I think Eagles going one and two just like the Cowboys. Uh, then we got Broncos, Buccaneers. Broncos 0-2. Buccaneers 2-0 playing oh, in taking, Tampa Bay. I'm taking the Buccaneers. I don't care where they play. I'm with the Baker Mayfields too. Baker yeah. Mayfields will be 3-0. Uh, we got the Packers and the Titans. And, and hold on. Packers and who? I got to shout this out real quick. So Buccaneers 2-0. Black head coach. Texas 2-0. Black head coach. Pittsburgh Steelers 2-0. Black head coach. I just wanted to call that out real quick. Yeah. Uh, shout out to that situation going on right there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, then we got the, let's say, Broncos Buccaneers. I already said that one. Uh, I said uh, Broncos Buccaneers. I said Broncos. 
I I'm, got here, the, I'm here, Buccaneers. Yeah, Buccaneers all Buccaneers, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got the Packers and the Titans. Uh, I don't believe Jordan Love will be playing, but I'm not positive about that either. He may be. I'm a, I'm man, I can't trust the Titans. I'm going to go with the Packers anyway. Who is the Packers quarterback right now? Uh, I don't know. Who is the Titans quarterback uh, right now? Jordan Love is questionable for that game. Okay, who is it? Uh, will Levis is the Titans quarterback. So and that I'm kid still can play. With the Packers. Packers got a solid score. Yeah. I'm going with the Packers. Yeah, you, don't, you don't know about Will Levis, huh? No, I don't know about him. And yeah, that kid can go now. That kid can go. Yeah, so, but I still got the Packers in that game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the Titans do have, you know, yeah, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. some guys there. I just know. don't trust the Titans, man. Titans, the Titans. Well, you know they're going to come with a salty defense. Like, they're going to have a solid defense every year. Yeah, yeah, they ain't going to get a number six, seven win every year. Yeah. But then, what? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> keep it going. Then we got the Browns and the Giants. The that Brown, is the uh, that Browns is the, and the Giants. Saddest what, game of the weekend. Where are they playing at? Cleveland. I, I got Cleveland. I got the Browns regardless. <laughs> they could have been playing on top of entire state building and I got the Browns. Uh, then we got the Bears and the Colts. Who you got? Where are they playing at? Indianapolis. I'm taking Indianapolis. I'm taking the Bears. That defense. Yeah. Serious. Colts got a pretty, you know, raw defense too. But man, yeah. them, what's their what's Bears, their both record? One and one. Uh, Bears one and one. Colts zero oh and two. Oh, I should. Yeah. You know, Anthony Richardson still basically yeah. a rookie. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. still got a lot I'm to. I'm still gonna ride with a lot of grown to do. I got him. You got the Colts. Gotcha. Yeah. I got them Bears in that one. Uh, Panthers and Raiders. Andy Dalton Panthers. That is. Panthers and Raiders. Who? Who's the Raiders quarterback? You ever, uh, you know what you get when you mix an uh, elephant and a rhinoceros? What? Elephant, I know. Huh. Huh. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Raiders. Because Raiders beat us somebody. Who the, who the Raiders beat last week? The Raiders beat they, they beat the Ravens last no, week. Man, I got to go with the Raiders. I'm going with the Raiders. Hey, uh, yeah. Garner Minshew is the Raiders uh, starting quarterback Okay, right I'm now. still going with the Raiders. I'm sticking with the Raiders too. Because <laughs> Garner, Garner got a little swag and a little confidence about himself. I don't know why, but he does. Uh, then we got Seattle versus the Dolphins. Two of us Dolphins. I'm going to go with Seattle. Dan's Dan in Seattle? Uh, yes. I'm going to go with Seattle. I'm going with Seattle as well. Uh, I believe uh, Tua is now on injured reserve. Yeah. Uh, is, is Tyler Huntley their, their quarterback right now? I don't now? know who their quarterback is. Yep, they signed Tyler Huntley. And they cut Robbie Chosen. That's pretty wild. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you said the Dolphins and... Uh, that is the Dolphins and uh, uh, Seattle. I'm taking Seattle. I'm taking Seattle too. That's a brand new quarterback down there. And, and but Tyler Huntley can ball now. He's a he's a Pro Bowl, formerly Pro Bowl quarterback. You know, Seattle for the got a pretty solid, solid defense. Yeah. You know, I don't even know who Seattle. Oh, Seattle got Geno Smith. Geno Smith up oh, there, yeah, man. I'm rolling with Geno. There's another quarterback better than that. Uh, Lions and Cardinals. That should be a fairly good game right there. Who you got on? I'm going with the, where they at? Arizona. God. Both of them are one and one right now. I'm going with the, I'm going with Detroit. Detroit. Detroit they, like they good squad? Detroit looked like a good squad last year, man. Yeah, they did. They looked a solid. Then I like uh, I like the head coach. Yeah, man. It's hard for me to root or go against Kyler Murray. I'm gonna stick with them Kyler Murrays. Okay. You if know, Kyler was still at uh, Allen, I'd go with Kyler. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if he was, hey, you can't be, if no, he was Kyler, a Kyler playing at Texas yeah, Stadium, yeah. you for sure oh, got to yeah, go with yeah, Kyler. Even if he had that yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah. Kyler, Kyler didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said the, the quarterback, what'd you say? Uh, the, Dol the Dolphins QB been there three years now. Ty no, Tyler Huntley's just now getting there. They just oh, the other guy been there Oh, three. yeah, but they're number starting 19. that other guy. They're starting that other guy. Yeah, number, yeah, number right. 19. And he's not bad. No, he ain't bad, but he ain't uh, good either. Yeah, that's Whenever right. somebody say he's not bad, yeah. that means he's not good either. Yeah. Because otherwise, they'd be like, oh, he great. <laughs> My boy cold-blooded. Yeah. When yeah. they say he's not bad, that means he's not good. Yeah, no, I, I, can't no. Go, I can't go with Miami in that one, no, man. No. I, I might lose that one, but I can't I can't go with him. What is uh, it? And then we got the Rams and 49ers playing. Oh, I got the Rams. Uh, uh, yeah, I got the Rams. In L.A., so I got the Rams in that one as well. It's, it's going to be a very boring game, though. No offense. Uh, Sunday night football, we have the Chiefs and the Falcons. I ain't never. I ain't never. I can't pick, pick against Chiefs. You like that? You Kirk Cousins? Pick, you can't pick, can't pick against the Chiefs, I dog. Now, now, Kirk Cousins can ball. Yeah, he can but ball. But he can't out ball fast. No, he's not doing that. He's not doing that. And uh, do you think I, – I think Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback than that. People just always talk smack to me when I say it, though. 
Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars and the Bills. Monday, we got two Monday night football games coming at you. So man, Josh Allen, Josh Allen is that dude. I'm picking Buffalo over there. In Buffalo, you don't think Sunshine can go up there and melt the little snow? They, I don't care if they was in my backyard. I'm picking Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, all right, gotcha. Hey, I'm Buffalo two and zero right now. Buffalo defense looked pretty, and, and, pretty and style, and too. Yeah. That Buffalo defense been style. You don't know that number 91, man. He was balling the other night. Yeah. I don't know his name. Yeah. But yeah, like I, I said, I might not know his name, but I know his game. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, that's yeah, it. So I'm, so I'm taking Buffalo. He remember yeah. that number like Madden used to say on, on the old school Madden. Uh, yeah, man, that's, that's a tough one right there for me. Um, Jags 0-2 going into Buffalo. I think it's one of them games where Josh Allen throws five interceptions. Four interceptions. I'm picking the Jaguars in this game but right here. But they're going to score six, six touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> That's Josh, Josh Allen. I'm going to tell you like this. He's good. I win bad. Win yeah. by far. Oh, absolutely. It's all, I'm absolutely. <laughs> he absolutely. might throw three, four interceptions, but he might throw six, seven touchdowns. Yeah, that, that thing, them, them pluses are going to equal that thing back out to where it's going to yeah, be on the plus, plus side. Take away the yeah, no doubt. No <laughs> doubt. And then uh, the second Monday Night Football game, we got the Commanders versus the Bengals of Cincinnati. Commanders currently one and one. Cincinnati's zero and two coming into this one, and they look like they are in flux. But they, they I'm gonna go win that game. I'm gonna take Cincinnati. I'm taking Cincinnati as well, man. You know why I'm picking the Commanders? Who you think I am out here? <laughs> you know. But yeah, that's that's our NFL predictions again. Like I said, if you want to go and uh, bet with us, man, go on over to the website www.theingroupinternational.com and click on that Nooner Sports and Tech tab and go down to that QR code, man. I probably share it on the uh, on the YouTube page too as well. Yeah. Uh, just as a post. Just as a post. But we're gonna keep this train rocking along, man. Next up, man, this new system got me jacked up a little bit. Just trying to find myself. Now, there we go. Nunes Fantasy Football League. Where you at, Goo? Where you at, Trip? Yeah, man. Goo and Trip running tight. <laughs> so look like Goo Punch 2-0 this week, oh. man. He, he's in first place along with Mr. Anthony Father Yazerski. They are leading the league right now. That's uh, Anthony Foster. That's, Anthony, that's my homie out of uh, College Station that oh, we talked yeah, yeah, to yeah, that yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was at the yeah. game the week. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, Lewis Hammerton, Christiana, getting back to her winning ways in our Nunes Fantasy Football League, former champion. She had a, the highest scoring league, which is now – Catapulted her to third place. Uh, I got a good win this week. Uh, just behind Christiana, one and one. Uh, looks like. Oh, fat ass losers. Jonas <laughs> took an L this week. He's now in fifth place, or tied for third, I should say. Uh, one and one. Uh, uh, Jung Gang Trip got him a dub this week. Now sitting at one and one. Back to the future, Donnie Boaz. Also sending one and one. I beat that head in, didn't I, Debo? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, Erski. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Mark's magnificent team. Uh, he's one and one. Uh, after beating me last week, he took an L to Christiana this week. And then we have Speed Kills. We got our two track stars. Our fastest. <laughs> I don't want to say fastest. I, I got to be in there. I got Mark got to be in there. It'll be a good. We would have a great relay race team. You oh, know? yeah, we have a great relay, great but I'm going to tell you this team. right now. Yeah. I'm going to get Ray first, yeah. but you and Mark got to see who's going to get that bronze medal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You and Mark better try hey. to battle it out. Hey. I, I, I mean, Mark, you can out catch me and all that, but I don't know if you can out run off. Got to stretch his <laughs> hammy right here, dog. Hey, if we running 40, <laughs> 40 no. meters, we good. No, 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 no. Okay, right. No, we going, we going harder than 200. No, oh, just, yeah. Hey, doing that, yeah. Hey, no, I'm, I'm just watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. Watch. But, yeah, Unk and, and Ray are rounding out the bottom, man. It's all good, Ray. That's all right, Ray. Because you know what? Me and you both get out the block slow. Yeah. But, again, what? It ain't, it ain't where you start. It's where you finish. Hey, Trip, it's me and you this week. You say you're going to get that dub on me, huh? Mr. Anderson. You can try, dog. You can try, dog. Hey. But we coming. You know what I'm saying? Like them Buffaloes. But yeah, man. Uh, having a good time with the new Spanish Football League, man. Hey, next year, you know, if you're feeling fr froggy, you know, jump in. You know. What's your name in the house? Hey, Trip and Goo Punch was feeling froggy this year. You know, and Goo Punch in the league right now. We got a long season, though. You know, got a long season. Yeah, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, shout out to the, to the Fantasy Football League there. Uh, you, you know, know what time, time it is. It's, it's been, been a minute since we've done, done one of these. Oh, we're You going. know what time it is? First one of the football season. We're 
going to ring the bell this week on Gail Sayers. Gail What's Sayers, going on? Gail Sayers, man. Say, man. A lot of people don't know about Gail Sayers. Gail Sayers was, uh, he was like, he was like Jamal Wilkes of the football field. He was silk. He was so smooth. Dude, he'd be in front of you, and then he gone. Yeah. He gone. But that cost him his knees right there, being there and being gone. Yep. But anyway, Gail Sayers got drafted to the NFL in 1972 by, I mean, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm starting off backward. He got drafted in 1965. By 1972, his career was over. Yeah, wow. But uh, his, his uh, total combined yards was uh, 9,435. And what people have to realize about Gail Sales, Gail Sales only played three Three and a half full years. The Holy rest is cow. the rest is years were riddled with injuries. And yeah. I'm gonna tell you, and you'll hear this in the in the in the real fair. You know, like I say, he had nine thousand four hundred thirty five total yards, which uh four thousand eight hundred fifty six was rushing. But then after that short period of time, when he retired, Gary Sims had three hundred and scored three hundred and sixty six points. That's insane. Just in that. Short of time. How many? And, how many touchdowns is that? Uh, that's putting in work. That, uh, and, 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 and considering his career was seven years, but his career was really more like four and a half or four. Yeah, you know. But well, uh, I mean, what was that about? He just wanted to go into acting. He didn't want to take them hits. Like, no, no, no. Guess that. No injury. Injury. Okay, no, so he was getting hurt. Yeah, because his uh, his first injury uh, came in nineteen sixty eight. But I'll get to that later. He was drafted in nineteen sixty five, and I gave you. His uh, rushing numbers for his career, and then at the end of his career, he had 366 points. But in 1965, in his rookie year, he scored 22 touchdowns. Gail had them Jets, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Gail had so low. Oh, you, your time. Oh yeah. Oh well, Gail says had uh, he had Jets, but it wasn't like super Jets, but it wasn't like mediocre Jets either. Yeah. You know, it wasn't the super Jets. It wasn't he was. He, he was closer to the Super Jets than he was the Mediocre Jets. So he you was know. closer to OJ and Bullet than he was Dak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, his his rookie year, he had 22 touchdowns. Yeah. And and uh, he had 14 rushing, six receiving, and two returns. And uh, in, uh, on December the 12th, uh, his rookie year, Playing against the San Francisco 49ers, he scored six touchdowns. Man. That, at the time, that tied the record. That still may be the record. For the most, right yeah, I'm, I don't know anybody uh, that scored more yeah, than six. You know, he I had, know Joe Mixon came close last year, a couple years ago, for yeah, Cincinnati he, doing that. He had four rushing. Like five, I think it was. He, he, he had uh, four rushing, one receiving, and one punt return for 85 yards. Man. So, so Gail Sales was that dude. And in, uh, and in 1968, that's his, his first knee injury. He was drafted in 65, and then nine games in his third season, 1968, he missed the last five games. They were playing 14 games. He missed the last five games because he, he tore his uh, patella and some yeah. other ligament. I yeah. can't call that. Just call Me, right media down. collateral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The MCL, yeah. ACL. Yeah. 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 Oh, so man, he, so told, he, told, he told both of them. Man. And then and then he missed the last five games. And then in 1969, he came back and led the league in Russia. Yeah. When did? And then in 1970, he he hurt his knee again. And I think he played six or seven games. Then he hurt his knee again in 71 and played a few games. Then he retired in, in, in 1972. When did he make that movie? Uh, was that after he retired? I think that was after he retired okay. about uh, Brian's song. Well, yeah, okay. again, Sales was uh, yeah. He came. He went to the University of Kansas. Yeah, and he had a he had a nickname too. What was that nickname? It was the Kansas Comet. Yeah, the Kansas Comet. And, and, and we already talked about nickname. Yeah. And when you read and and, and, and when you look at Gail Sales' numbers against some of these other guys' numbers, got eighteen thousand yards. But when he got, uh, uh, retired in nineteen seventy two, the Pro Football Hall of Fame wasn't like it was now. And what they put Gail Sales in was the impact he had over the short time that he played. Yeah. You know, because when you say, you know, you can do six or six or go into a hundred, what, 15 times? So there's uh, 
Shoot, man, he got the oh, what's that? How many? Fifty something touchdowns, sixty something touchdowns. Man, yeah, that's a lot. And right now, you got guys. Uh, no, that's more than fifty six. That's a, oh, what for the three hundred points he scored? Yeah, three hundred sixty-six points. That's and, and six, six. six that's sixty. To, that's sixty something touchdowns. Yeah, and and, and you got guys. No, nah, that's eighty. Eighty something, 80 something touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you got guys that play. A whole career don't score. I mean, so guess who yeah. did all this basically. In three years? 80 touchdowns in three basically, years? Basically, basically, I would say out of his seven years, I gave him four and a half years because he probably missed, because in 68, he missed five games. Yeah. 69, he had a full season. And then in 1970, I, I, I can't call, but he, he missed about half of that season. In 71, he missed another six or seven or eight games. And then by 72, he didn't even finish the year. He retired. Was he was he like a first round pick? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Gail Sam was that dude. Oh, man. So he was a dog in college too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You don't get no see back then you ain't getting no nickname just because you, yeah. just cause you went to went to because you showed up. Yeah. You had to do something special. Yeah. To get a nickname. You had to earn that thing. But yeah, you gotta earn that. Yeah. And Gail Sam, um, you know, you know. And when you hear people say, Oh, I ain't never seen, you know, and like these niggas, oh, I ain't never seen. You're absolutely right. I have never seen anybody do the stuff Travis Hunter done. Yeah, but I've never seen anybody do this. What Gail Sayers mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I have never seen that much so, impact in such yeah, a short amount of time. Yeah, and, and then so when, so you know, I'm gonna be trying to criticize these guys. Yeah. All I be saying is that I'm not that in awe because I have seen so many special things yeah. in sports throughout the years. To yeah. he may not be doing. What Travis exactly. Hunter did, but he, but guess what? Travis Hunter ain't doing what, what he, he did. did. Yeah, for sure. So I've I've seen so many special things. I'll be like, just calm down. This is just, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. He good. He's special, but he but don't make him like breathe. he's way special than other people. Yeah, because I've seen and, and Gail Sales is one of these special guys. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt yeah. about that, man. But hey, huh? You know, yeah, it's good. To, it's good to get back to the ring the bell. Well, you yeah, know, ring the bell. And the good thing about football, I mean, you know, when you ring the bell on basketball player, they actually they in different positions. Yeah. You know, but football guys never do. Really got twenty two different positions. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Basketball got five. Oh, yeah, they do. You know, we yeah. rung the bell in basketball, but I'm gonna ring the bell on some offensive tackles. Oh man. Some D tackles. I'm looking forward some to D-ins. it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, some wide receivers. Hey, and, and Trip, you asked who is Jamal Wilkes? Bro, go back. We gotta ring the bell on episode or video on Jamal Wilkes. You can go check it out right now oh, on yeah. the page. Just go it's through videos. We got a whole Ring the Bell yeah, series. On basketball. On basketball so we far. Got, so now we know. got we're adding the football uh, Ring the Bell this season for the first time because Unk got that knowledge. We bridge the gap of knowledge. We bridge that knowledge gap because we always talking about goat this and goat that and uh, LeBron is the greatest and whoever of, of talking about today's people but we forget about the people in the past. Yeah. Like not even that we forget about. We just don't know. No. And this whole we thing just don't trip. know. So and this whole thing bring that information. Go to back for real. We're not trying to get no views, but but go back and look at some of those basketball ring the bell. We are trying to get views. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, but <laughs> yeah, we are trying to get views. But I'm just saying, we trying to spread because it's real. It's real stuff with, though. The views come with information. Yeah. If we put the information out there, the views gonna come. Yeah. So we trying to put the information. Out there. So if you go back and look at some of those basketball ring the bell, I got them on Bob McAdoo, Jamal Wilkes, Larry Bird, Dr. J. Uh, did I do I didn't do Dennis Johnson, did I? No, you did 44. Uh, West. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, Jerry Whistle. So, yeah, it's so a lot, when you a go lot back, of people. Iceman, like we did yeah. a lot of people. Ring yeah, the bell. I did, I, I did the Iceman. And go back and look to ring the bell, and you'll know who Jamal Wilkes is. Three time NBA champion. Yep. And, and I'll tell you, I'm just going to give you a sense you want to know a little something about it. You know the game they talk about when Magic scored the 42 and uh, and beat the Philadelphia 76 and, and he had to play center in the finals? Yeah. Magic had 42 and 15. Jamal Wilkes had 37 and 10 Man. in the same game. Man. Silky Wilkie. Yeah. Yes, sir. And that's all. You know, we ain't trying to yeah. like I know everything. But I've been watching sports like hey, I tell people. Like I say, I couldn't find no information on Will Chamberlain when I was growing up because we didn't have the internet when I was coming up. Uh-huh. And there wasn't no books, there wasn't no stories, there wasn't no videos, there wasn't nothing. But hearsay. But Unc has, uh, you know, closed that gap for me. You know, and now the internet is caught up and now Will Chamberlain has videos. And after we talked about Will Chamberlain and a lot of these other guys, oddly enough, ESPN started talking about him too. But so on and so forth. Moving on. 
NCAA football week three. Let's talk about it real quick. DJ Ugly lived up to his name. Florida State went out there and lost to Memphis. Yeah. You know Mike Novell used to coach Memphis. Yeah. They paid Memphis to come play at Florida State. Yeah. And then they lost to him 20 yeah. to 12. Yeah. My boy DJ Ugly, bro. First of all, I couldn't believe that he was a quarterback. That shows you, first of all, uh, Norvell's commitment to guys. He tries to keep his word. But secondly, they must not have anything else at quarterback. Because DJ Ugly, that, he earned that nickname. Oh, hey. You got to hey, do something special hey, to earn a nickname. <laughs> This going back to the old school days. Your nickname means something. It means something. It means something. DJ Ugly been ugly at Clemson. Boys ugly at Oregon State. And staying true. Stay the ugly at Memphis. Uh, ugly. DJ Ugly in Florida State now. You know what I'm saying? Boy lost to Memphis, huh? Yeah. And I'm going to say this, you know. I'm mad because I, I... Florida State was real large to Bobby Bowden for years and years. But Bobby Bowden left because he wanted to. Mike got to come around, man. You know, he had some good year last year. I know. That, that's that. what I'm agged about. Yeah. Mike yeah. is my boy. Right? We don't talk as much as we used to. Of course, yeah, the man busy doing his job. I'm busy, busy doing mine. Much we grown folks. Yeah, you busy too. Yeah. Absolutely. It ain't just one way. What I'm saying is, I don't want to see my homie lose his job, his dream job to this point, because of DJ Ugly. He's not going to get it done. He's like Dak. They share the same number. Uh, like, it is what it is. You know, like, I, I'm tired of saying it. But, anyways, uh, did you see that uh, UT went out and destroyed UTSA as they should have, 56 to nothing, this past weekend? And uh, because of that destruction, we were able to see quite a bit of Arch Manning. Boy went out and put out four touchdowns and one very impressive. <laughs> unmanning like <laughs> run my boy did, broke out for like what 56 or something like that didn't he but did you see that they said that uh, he's not in the house of trouble running absolutely not yeah, I, saw that. I saw that I saw that Arch, Archie man Arch, 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 Arch. he is, is, is or is not he is what I was like well, me too and check this out you don't even start no but then check out something else they said about Arch they said that he ran a, his, his top speed uh, it's, it's, it's higher than Tyreek Hill. You didn't, you didn't see that on the internet? I didn't see that. That his, that his speed on that 60 was uh, <laughs> the highest speed. What, he ran like 23 miles an hour or something, something like that? like that. Oh, I already knew the kid could go. I saw him, at, like, I, I followed Arch Manning for a while. I'm going to say this. And the kid is special. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I don't think that. That must have been an easy to on Tyreek. I'm going to say this. Tyreek Hill can't be no lie. Tyreek Hill might not can't. Beat uh, 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 DK Metcalf. Yeah. But he can, but he can damn sure beat uh, <laughs> Stop that shit, man. You know they got to gas him up. Yeah, yeah, they got to gas. They got to gas him up. They got to say something, man. Stop that, man. Hey, come on, man. That's just like when they said yeah. Daniel Jones reached the same top speed as Lamar Jackson that year. It's like, bro, what? What are we talking about right now? Yeah, for 10 y'all. That boy was running okay. scared as hell. He may have, because he was running so scared. Boy was but, running scary. But this is the whole thing. He did it once. Yeah. Lamar do it all damn time. Every time. Come on, man. So y'all stop that. Yeah, every you know, time, boy, man. Boy, when they said that, I was like, ooh, they gassing the boy. Yeah. They gas oh, yeah. I mean, they want... Look, Arch Manning, he's going to get a Heisman before he and goes I'm out of Texas. Like like he is... They Bruce want Arch that guy to be successful. Arch Manning got to beat out Quinn Ewers, man. Quinn Ewers can play. He ain't beating out Quinn Ewers. Arch Manning is going to get his time next year. Quinn Ewers is going to be a top draft pick. And going he might be win the Heisman this year. How you going to have two quarterbacks on the same team up for Heisman? I don't know. Man, I that's don't wild. Know. I ain't never I seen nothing like that, but that's how bad Texas has been yeah. beating boys up. Yeah. yeah that's that. what they were saying. That's what they were saying. Long horn money. That. Long, baby. Long, long monies. Long is what they money should is be. The longest. Yes, sir. The they longest that, money. That big bread coming up out of there. Then also, uh, this past weekend, Colorado went out there and had an impressive win against Colorado State. Now, I think... Last week's loss to Nebraska was just an indication of how good Nebraska is, right? 
and how good of a job that coach, who is yeah. known to turn around a team like that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, this week, Colorado State, they saw what happened to those boys last week. Quarterback came out talking smack. They had another position guy coming out talking smack about Shador and Travis. And old buddy hit Travis with the he too small gesture. Right? And boys, hey. Colorado dominated them boys. And, hey, I, I, I tell you this. I'm not saying they world beaters yet, but they're getting better. They're getting in sync. It's the first time this O-line and D-lines play together. Those two areas on the field got to be in sync. They have to be, especially that O-line. In the O-line, they moved some things around, and they had a much better game. They protected Shador, allowed him to do some things. It was a slower start, but they got it going. And once they got it going, Colorado State had no chance, no shot. So, you know, uh, shout out to them boys in Boulder, man. And to me, people getting they getting their feelings about Dion mixed up with productivity on the field. Yeah, you know, and uh, Dion for some people is easy to dislike. Yeah, for sure. But but I'll say this, and I said this. No, I'm not. I said that Colorado. On the high end, of win seven games. On the low end, of win five. And I stick with that. If they get bowl eligible, that's a great season for them. Yeah. Man, you know. They won one game two years ago. Everybody is trying to grade there. Colorado against Georgia and Alabama. I, I mean, I'm saying the, 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 the team. Yeah, the team that's been dominating. Over there. I'm not judging Colorado against. You got to judge people fairly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You know, no matter how much Dion talks. And this is the thing. Dion is talking to keep his – he's doing like Dallas right now. He's talking to keep them relevant. You know, and, and not just Jerry Jones talking, Stephen A. All of, you know, we didn't talk about all – but 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 Dion got to do something to make his team relevant until they can be relevant on their play. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, 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 and to me, and to me personally, I think Dion can do that because this is everybody talking. Dion got, a, got another – Number one quarterback waiting for Shador to leave. Yep. yep. He got a quarterback. Yeah, he does. So once you get a quarterback, yeah. you know, now you can build your team. Yeah. So he got a quarterback waiting for yeah, Shador. Yeah, and they're just bu- they're building right now. Man, yeah. like, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to bad. It's so early. Idea, yeah. I don't know enough about the guys that have come in to say they're good or bad, right? I know they're better than they were last year. I do oh, know yeah. that much. Oh, yeah. And, and they won four games last year. I know right? they got a lot of guys, a lot of three stars that are scrappy, that that want to get better and want to work, right? They're not just, they're not like they're not like the Cowboys. I tell you that much. They're not a bunch of soft boys that's just happy to be here and think that people are gonna roll over when they show up. You got them three star dudes with a, with a chip on their shoulder, man. So I appreciate that. I can't call what their record's going to be. I don't I mean, know. But I think they're going to win more than they lose. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, and they win seven games. That's more. That's going to put that be about 74. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a good thing. Absolutely. I mean, you know, from where they were. Absolutely. I, know, I mean, you know, for, for me to think that a coach can come into a program that is that is historically terrible over the last 15, 20 years yeah. and turn it around to a 10 win team in one year. Come on, man. Yeah. And what a game by Travis Hunter again. The boys yeah. just. Scoring oh, touchdowns, yeah. intercepting passes, like he's doing everything, man. Yeah. Like he has to be in that Heisman conversation. Yeah. If he can stay healthy, if he can he's got a great healthy. chance to win that thing, oh, man. That's yeah. all I'm saying. So and then they got another guy that nobody really talks about. But oh. when I when I watch, no, no. When I watch these games, this guy pops on film more than anybody else. You know? Uh except for Travis. Right? This guy's a force on their team. This is his third school. I know he was at Michigan before, and I think he was either at uh, like UNC Charlotte or, or, or South Florida, one of them green and gold teams. I don't know which one it was. But uh, the kid's name, Nakai Hill Green. What's his number? 41. Oh, okay. okay. The boy lays the wood. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, on, on defense. On oh, yeah. defense. The boy got a bad attitude, and he's always around the football. I'm having a great time watching that kid play football Jimmy like Horn that. Jimmy Horn ain't bad either. No, Jimmy Horn go hard. <laughs> Jimmy Horn ain't bad Jimmy either. Horn go hard, but yeah. watch for number 41 this weekend. Oh, You're yeah. going to see what oh, I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I feel like that's one of my talents in life. I feel like, and I know you said the same thing, huh? but I feel like I, I got an eye for those guys, those dudes. I can see it right now. 
And 41, he going to be special, man. That's an NFL player right there. I'm going to tell you that right now. It ain't just about you do it. They got other NFL players on this team, and 41 is one of them for sure. The kid flies around. He's a linebacker. Hits hard. Oh, they got, they got, they always got, around the ball. I got, love those guys. Man. They got four or five guys going to the NFL. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, and we uh, also uh, Miami. You know, uh, they went out one again. Man, Cam is gonna be Cam Ward is gonna be another Heisman candidate this year. Man, the kid can ball, special at quarterback. Got those boys three and zero. They went out and dominated somebody sixty something to nothing this week. So Miami's going to be in that thing come come into the season, I believe, just because they, they're following that guy's lead. And Cam Ward, you can count on that dude. You oh, can yeah. absolutely count on that dude. So we're going to keep it popping, man. Uh, keep it rolling. Games of the week this week. Miami of Ohio versus Notre Dame. You know I'm tuning in for that one. I'll be having a watch party for my Notre Dame fans out there, man. Go in, D. We got that good win against Pitt last week, 66-7. Uh, I mean, not against against Purdue last yeah, week, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, that was that was great to watch. And then Baylor and Colorado, that should be a decent game. Looking forward to seeing how Colorado uh, plays against this Big Twelve competition. Uh, we'll see see how it works out, man. Well, you know, know, Texas, oh, you gone, so they made the Big Twelve a little easier. Yeah, it is. It I did. mean, not not trying to be. Funny. It, it's a little more open. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more open. Yeah, because you don't have. I mean, you know, you still you got know, Kansas State yeah. in there, but I mean, that's, yeah, you got you got Kansas, Kansas State, Baylor, Texas Tech. Yeah, but. Who's always at the top of the big? Oh, you in Texas? Thank you. That's what it was. Yeah, when it wasn't so Texas, now it was OU. When it wasn't OU, it was yeah, Texas. Yeah, so, 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 so it's wide open. Yeah, every now and then you get a TC, TCU or Texas Tech or something like that. Yeah, you say them boys only had Pilar. Okay, okay. But being a good black man who loves God and his kids, they hate it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, that's absolutely. what I say all the time. Uh, absolutely. Trip. It, uh, you might can talk about Dion coaching style. Can't. You might you might can talk about uh, his personal style. You can't talk about his father who fathering. Absolutely. That, that man is a one father because this is the thing. This country is built on nepotism, and he's the, and, and 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 I'm not mad at. At, at him for, for for following the pattern that was laid out before him yeah. before by other successful people. Yeah. Because successful people always make sure who's successful, they children. Absolutely. All day, every day. So that's anybody a, talking America, about nepotism, nepotism can go fly a kite for his uncle. That is America. That is what we live in and what we yeah, see go talk every about something day there. in some talk way, shape, or form. There. And then we got Cal versus Florida State. As you can see, man, these are, these are my homies games and my favorite team. So, that was going to be the game of the week, so you can count on it. You can bank on it, man. So, uh, Cal and Florida State, until further, uh, until DJ is off the field, I can't see Florida State winning the game. That's all I got to say. But uh, we're going to keep this thing trucking. Sorry about that, Mike. It's just the truth, bro. Be done with that kid before they done with you, bro. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. Don't 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 lose don't lose your job behind man, that man, knucklehead. Man. Um, and then we got, he's not a knucklehead. He just can't play football. Uh, and then uh, WNBA News. Uh, Asia Wilson has gone out first time anyone uh, any any female has scored a thousand points in a season. She has eclipsed a thousand point mark, man. Great job. Uh, then Caitlin Clark doing what Caitlin Clark do. Uh, she has uh, eclipsed the rookie scoring record, right? Uh, great job, Caitlin. Uh, this past Sunday, she went out and put up her season high, career high, thirty five points. Eight assists and two rebounds against the Dallas Wings, and they won by one point. So they needed every last oh, they bit they of that needed every last bit of that. Needed all of that. So that ain't stat padding. That's called winning right there, man. So shout out Kaylin Clark uh, on conquering another great feat. Uh, you Texas Ranger fans out here, uh, huh. get forward to 2025. Look forward to it, man, because we got some arms. That starting rotation is gonna be sick. Jake Degrom, he was hitting 99 the other day. And uh, Kumar Rocker is going to have his first MLB start this Thursday. Looking forward to that. Come to find out, his dad is on the Titans coaching staff, which hmm. is very dope. Oh, yeah, is that I mean, nepotism? You know. No. That kind kid of throws 100 miles an hour. No, nah, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't nep, nep, nepotism. Yeah. That's called good DNA. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, because his daddy, if he's on the coaching staff, I'm sure he have done something before also. Absolutely. So that's called good DNA. Them genetics, man. Yeah, Them absolutely. genetics are real deal holy field. That's why your son scored four goals the other day. Yep. <laughs> Young Prince, he shout got out. Some, he got off DNA, you know? which which went down <laughs> to his daddy. Now it's down yeah. to him. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That, no that's how no, it goes, no. No, 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 no,
a whole lot of guys that look a certain way. Yeah. Their father didn't succeed in athletics because they used their athletic talent on their job. Yeah. They had to work hard. Yep. And then when you come along, you're like, oh, my daddy, I'm the first one. Your daddy was at work. That's why you the first one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Did, why you the first one. Didn't have the opportunities <laughs> yeah, that you yeah, were blessed yeah. with. That he that blessed you with. Opportunity, yeah. You know, it matters. Yeah, yeah all that matters. Oh, it yeah. matters. And I'm going to tell you like this. The DNA, being a good athlete, is the number one thing on the chart. Yeah, no doubt. I don't care what nobody says. No doubt that. about that. Yeah, DNA. Ain't I mean, because if it, cause it, it wasn't DNA, you wouldn't know Bryce and Bryce's name right now. Yeah. D-Boy got that DNA from their daddy. And I don't know what their mama did. She played some in high school. But they got good DNA, man. Yeah, it ain't too many slow mamas and daddies out there with fast kids. No, so sure. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's very few unathletic fathers with athletic children. Yes, sir. <laughs> And, it, and, I, and mamas. I see there. it all the time. I see it all the time. It's like, oh, that, that boy can't play. Let me look at this. Oh, okay. Okay, dad that can't makes play. Sense. That makes oh, sense. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. sense. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Boxing news, man. So Canelo went out there this weekend. It was a, as Unc said, that was probably one of the most entertaining fights of the, the year because they got busy early. Early. Second early. round, these boys was throwing hands. Early. So very entertaining fight. Uh, Canelo has gone out and and, and won the fight. Uh, he can't make no more excuses for David Benavides, right? His whole thing was, oh yeah, David Benavides is gonna uh, gain twenty five more pounds after we weigh in. Well, this dude came in at one ninety three on the night of the fight. Yeah. Canelo don't want the Mexican monster to put them hands on. Him. It's all it comes down to. <laughs> That's all. Yellow tail, bro. <laughs> Yellow tail. Hey. Yellow tello. I ain't gonna call you Canelo. I'm gonna call you Yellow Tello, bro, because you 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 picking dudes out. You know you can beat, and people are gonna buy the fight because you Canelo. Yeah, but bro, know. Mayweather didn't operate like that. Mayweather operated. He he fought you. He fought Pacquiao. Oh yeah. He fought yeah. whoever thought could and, and wanted to smoke. He let him get the opportunity to get it. Yeah, absolutely. Versus, I need two hundred million to get my ass whooped. Basically, is what you're saying. So there's some doubt in your mind, because if you knew you could beat that man, you'd have fought him already as much as he's called you out, bro. Oh, so, yeah. And then he might have been waiting for the money to build up. Yeah, man. I mean, it I can't mean, build up no more than what it's building up. You know, I'm just trying to... It's like, going to get stale. Yeah. When you waiting for Benavides to lose, Longer he ain't going to lose. You waiting to get older, that's a bad plan. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you the odd fight. What's that? Plan. Oh, yeah. God, man. dog, man. Yeah, man. I have never seen... That was wild how that ended. Cause I got beat playing ass for four rounds. Yeah, he did. And then Plant, Plant looked like he wanted to give up. Oh, at, at first. first. Yeah, when he was holding him and then fell out to the ground. I was like, Plant don't want no. I, well, I felt like Plant was just frustrated because dude kept bum rushing him. Like dude was like, he is. But then he's a Plant, brawler. He wasn't. He wasn't no Plant boxing. Decided. He was. He was punching and then he was trying to push him. Like he was just going forward and like but, playing like bro box like what's going on? But so, then when but then when Plant decided to box, the whole thing changed. Everything changed when Plant started boxing. What, what, what Plant did? So when they had space and they had that distance, old buddy was taking that distance and he would gain momentum and start throwing hands and bum rushing Plant and like physically dominating him by moving forward. When Plant squeezed that space down and old buddy couldn't come forward that way anymore, it was over. And then after about over. two rounds of him closing it down, old buddy didn't even want to come forward no he more. He didn't want no more. Didn't want Plant was so, putting them hands on him. He looking at the crowd like Hulk Hogan. Like, yeah, that was saw Jim Duggan around. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Like, I hadn't saw a tail. One fight have two different yeah. sides so bad. Yeah. Because that first look four around. Look like Plant didn't want no. Yeah, but it still mm -hmm. ended very strange. And I yeah. think that's what the old buddy was frustrated about. Because the bell rang, and it looked like Plant caught him with a right, and then after the bell rang, caught him with another one. And then the ref goes in and waves the fight off. But this is right? the thing, though. Even before the bell, Plant hit him by six. 
Oh yeah, no doubt. He was going, you know, he he yeah, he yeah. was trying to see who yeah. yeah. You would have thought he was trying to, I thought he was I Which thought Martin hit me. And <laughs> now, now I thought he was watching Martina <laughs> now to low. Yeah, on that on that side. Yeah. Like, like, it's arena. Right, so so you know it was Thunder restraints. You know, boxing has changed. Now, if this would have been 15, yeah. 20 years ago, yeah. I would have said they called it too early. Yeah. But they, they stopped it. Yeah, bro. Now, nah, he was beating. Like, he, he was, was whooping him, man. He yeah, was that, him. Was, that was just a strange fight. Yeah. How it started, how, how it ended. Absolutely. You know, and, and this weekend, I'm looking forward to Turkish Alasheed's cards, man. Like, he always puts together great fights. Uh, we got Anthony Joshua uh, taking on Dubois. And that's going to be a very good fight, man. Dubois. Uh, I believe he should be the champion. He's got a belt right now, but I believe he should be the champion because he actually think I'm good. Put on no, I don't. I think Anthony Joshua is gonna knock him out. I think Anthony Joshua, uh, when he came to Dallas and trained with Omar and trained with Derrick James yeah. and got out the UK and was in that hood a little bit and so, wasn't drinking tea and crump eating crumpets, whatever whatever it is. <laughs> when he came down to this Oak Cliff, Texas, and had the scrapping at the hundred. The Green Gym out there with Derek, he found something in him that we all knew he had. He just wasn't showing it, right? He, he That dog came out of him. So I've been seeing AJ with a whole different side since he trained with Derek. And him and Derek still talk, but he on the other side of that pond. You know, he got life over there. So, you know, I, I'm looking forward to this fight this weekend. It's going to be a very good fight. Be watching out for the watch party on that one too, man, because... I love heavyweight fights. Oh yeah, I think that's too. gonna be a daytime fight though. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. We'll see how that works out. But yeah, we'll see how it works out. Yeah, bro. man. But I think that's the last. Oh, we got IMO. Huh? In my opinion, yeah. They say stuff in sports that really chop my eye. Yeah, and one of these things that he made him better. I think that no other man can make another man better, and I think it's disrespectful for you to take. What I have earned and give it to somebody else. Yeah. Because this is the thing about guys that they say make guys better. They only say that about the guys that succeed that played with you. What about the ones that didn't succeed? Why you didn't make them better? Yeah. <laughs> say if a guy is a quarterback, I would say, well, I hear guys say, well, Tony Romo made, uh, what's the what's the receiver? Dead. No, not did. Well, I, I've heard that too. T.O.? No, the other uh, receiver, uh, Austin, Miles Austin. Miles Austin, yeah. Oh, Tony Romo made that Miles Austin better. So how did he make him better? Did he make him taller? Did he make him faster? <laughs> did he make him run better routes? He was who he was. Uh, I mean, he was who he was. Now, if uh, now if somebody say, <laughs> if a track coach take you and say, okay, if you run 10 150s instead of six, and you get a little faster. He didn't make you better. You made yourself better by running that 10 150s instead of six. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody, in my opinion, can make anybody better. You may give them suggestions. You may tell them what it needs for them, what they need to get better, but you cannot make them better. They have to go out and do what you advise them to do themselves to get better. Yeah. And that's just my opinion Yeah. on making people better. And that's, that's a great opinion, and I'm not. I can't, I can't rebut that. I can't rebut it. That's not how we get down on IMO. In my opinion, Ben Simmons is the first player to ever retire on the clock. Ditto. My boy is still putting out videos in the off season, playing at 24 Hour Fitness against the gym league All Stars. Not even the All Stars. Ditto. Balenciaga Ben, he might need to go model like they said on the on, on, on it is what it is. But in my opinion, Ben Simmons, your career is done, son. Done, son. And that's all I got to say about that. Ditto. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I ain't trying to rebuttal. I'm just if it, I know y'all know what ditto means. <laughs> that means I agree. I'm just yeah, saying. I agree one three thousand, not. Three thousand percent. I'm just saying. I'm just, I just, I'm just saying. Straight up, man. Straight hey. up, man. But now, appreciate y'all out there, man. Trip the ghost, man. Good punch, man. Appreciate y'all both, man. Always been the best of the best uh, subscribers, man. 
Man, appreciate y'all. We are nothing without you, man. We're going to keep putting out this good content, man. Y'all be looking for these shorts. We're going to be releasing this week, man. We definitely appreciate the time you spent with us today. We'll see y'all next week sometime around noonish. And be checking out for us this weekend because we got to have some watch parties going down. Check us out at noonish next Wednesday. Appreciate you. And the watch parties. (laughs) Peace. We out. Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a- aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. Okay.